They've come from around the curling world. To Canloops, BC, and the 1998 Four World Curling Championships. Some faces familiar. Some faces not so. Some are world champions. Some are looking to become champions. Canada's Kathy Borst carries the Canadian flag. The Edmonton team was jumping for joy at the Scott Tournament of Hearts in Regina. Ten teams, the Ford Worlds on TSN. All she could say was, finally. Finally, she had broken through as Canadian champion after losing the 95 Scott final to Connie Laliberti. Kathy Forst and her team from Edmonton were the Canadian champions. She's been on a roll. Let's not forget, in Switzerland a year ago, she won the bronze medal, then followed up with the silver in Nagano. Now can the smiles turn into gold for Denmark. Kathy Borst will go against a field of nine others, including world champions. Larvison won a world, so has Andrea Schaap from Germany. Other world champions include Dordi Nordby. Kirsty Hay has come close. Elizabeth Gustafsson from Sweden, she's back. She's a two-time world champion. That is your women's field. Here in Kamloops, BC, and the 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN. The beautiful Riverside Coliseum in Kamloops, B.C. will be our home for the next eight days in these 98 Ford World Curling Championships. Nice to be back in Kamloops. We were here a couple of years ago for the Labatt Briar, and we're looking forward to another stay in this beautiful city right in the heart of the Thompson River Valley. Coming up on the opening day of these Ford Worlds, the Canadian men's team of Wayne Madaw play just once this afternoon against the reigning world champion. That's Peter Lindholm of Sweden. The Canadian women's team, Kathy Borst of Edmonton, they play twice tonight against the Americans, but coming up in their opener, they go against Helena Black Larvison of Denmark. She won the silver medal at the recent Nagano Olympics. Some people say it was a bit of a surprise. Will she surprise Canada? Let's find out with their thoughts, Lyndon Ray. Thank you, Victor. Well, Linda, it's a world championship, and that means the four rock rule, and that means rocks in play. <laughs> there are a few rule differences that we're going to first explain before we get into the game itself. The Canadian rules, you know, we have some sweeping differences, some free guard zone rule differences. Here are the major differences. The time, they have 75 minutes, but no timeouts. When you sweep behind the T-line, it's the acting skip only. In Canada, the front ends can sometimes do that. And the four rock free guard zone rule is the big difference, and that's offense. No opponent's stone can be removed. If in the area between the hog line and the house, that's the zone until after the fourth stone of the end has come to rest. So yes, Ray, that could be aggressive play. Although the first game, you never really know. No, I think they'll be a little cautious to start it off, Linda. Mm -hmm. Helena block Laverson, as Vic's already mentioned, a silver medal. And what that did for Denmark is just unbelievable. The, the excitement in that country, they're looking at building some rinks. So it's really been a turnaround talking to Tommy Stern before the game. Helena has been here. This is her 15th trip. Now she's won 10, a uh, 1-4 and lost 10. But in that uh, in that run, she's beat some pretty big names. Schmurter, she beat Laliberti, she beat Goring, she beat Houston. So, and she comes here, Linda, different this time because now they're expecting something from her. Before she came, she could be relaxed, but now there's some pressure on her. So it's gonna be interesting to see how she behaves and how she acts and how she curls, obviously. But she, Kathy Boris comes here for the first time. There's a lot of world champions, so how will Kathy handle that pressure? Well, you're right, Helena has only beaten Canada four of those 14 times in past years, but she always plays well against Canada. And for Kathy Boris, this is the nervous time. At a world championship, any championship, this is the part you hate, sitting, waiting, practicing, getting ready for that first game. The nice thing for Kathy is she does have Heather Godperson, former world junior champ, to bring the experience of world play with her. So that'll calm them down a little bit, but they're itching 
to go, Vic. And so are we here at these Ford Worlds in Kamloops. Just a reminder, you can keep up to date on player profiles. Both Canadian teams, Kathy Borst, Wayne Madaw, all the scores, standings, they're available to you at our web address, which is www.tsn.ca slash curling. When we come back to the Riverside Coliseum in Kamloops, B.C., on the shores of the Thompson, it's the opening game women's play here at the Ford Worlds on TSN. It's your turn to aim for the stars, see new places, or rediscover an old road. You're the reason we make the new 98 Windstar with all the comforts of a car, plus over 40 standard safety features. In fact, Windstar is the only minivan to earn five stars, the highest rating in U.S. government front end crash tests. Like you, we aim high too. The new 98 Ford Windstar, created for the most important people in the world. I had a great childhood, full of laughter. I want my daughter to have one too. But growing up isn't just fun and games. There's more to it than that. Introducing the CIBC Smart Start Program, a unique way to help ensure your child has the brightest, most secure financial future possible. It makes banking simple, relevant, and fun for your child. I'd like her to stay a little kid forever. But as a parent, I owe it to her to look beyond that. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Seeing beyond. Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. The Nikon Zoom 210 is a stylish, fully automatic, compact camera with a sharp power zoom lens. The Nikon Zoom 210 makes taking perfect pictures simple. And he thinks he saved a bundle on the move. Yeah, right. Ugh. Next time, I'm calling Allied. Thank you, Canada, for making Allied the biggest and best in the country. The 1998 Masters, Thursday on TSN. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Simonize is available exclusively at Canadian Tire. It is a beautiful building, and it's a model for any community. The size of Kamloops, about 70,000. This is the Riverside Coliseum. We're here for the 1998 Ford World Curling Championships. The team's taking their final warm-up slides as we take a look at these two teams. Throwing lead stones for Canada is Kate Horn. For Denmark, the native of Schenectady, New York, Lisa Richardson. Brenda Bomer throws the second stone. She was the MVP at the Scott Tournament of Hearts and Denmark's Dorte Holm. The third for Canada, Heather Godverson, a world junior champion looking to add now a world championship. And Margit Portner for Denmark and the two skips. 38-year-old Kathy Borst and her team out of the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton and Denmark's Helena Black Larvison from the Pidova Curling Club in Denmark, not far from Copenhagen. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. They toss for the stone, the last rock in the first end. Canada has won the toss. They'll be playing the red stones, and to get us going, the Danish lead is Lisa Richardson. I think you're... 
think your comments were really uh, interesting. I, I really think the first couple ends that this game will be played pretty wide open. I think that you know, both teams are a little nervous probably. And as I mentioned in my comments that, uh, you know, Helena is here. Uh, it's a different situation for her now. There really has been so much attention and, uh, you know, which is wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and into the rings they go. We all watched practice yesterday, and I was absolutely shocked at where they were putting the brush down. I don't know whether it was just a result of, of uh, what they call the green ice, but they were putting the brush down on the edge of the 12 and getting six feet of curl. Yeah, I, I, in the practice they sure were. I think that you'll find that it'll be uh, it'll be less than that yeah. as we uh, get into the game because they'll have to. It depends on the crowd too, how many people yeah. and the temperature. Yep. They'll have to keep the ice a little bit. Uh, a little bit harder, a little bit colder. Canadian skater, she's straight the ball. There's going to be lots of Well, as we suggested, exchange of stones. Rock into the rings and intern hit. Pretty predictable to play this end uh, wide open and clean. Straight up. Taking about eight inches of ice for this intern hit. Control! Control! For Kate Horn. Control! You can see it moving, Vic. It's you can really have to be careful to get them started or underthrow them. They'll really move. That one went hard. Six World Junior appearances for this 25-year-old Dorte Holm, and now in her fifth. Women's yeah. world appearance. Okay. The langsam one. I mean, that's I the thing, too, I, I suspect yep. everyone hopes yep. for in a country yep. such as Denmark that maybe benefits <laughs> from their silver medal is that it gets people <laughs> interested in the game because we've seen some <laughs> of these people so many times. There just is Do such a lack hard? of depth. Well, you know, that, and, I, and as I mentioned, too, uh, talking to Tommy Stern, who's the skip for the uh, Danish team here, the men's Danish, the Danish team, uh, men's team, uh, he was saying that it's been unbelievable the number of phone calls and interest, you know, and, and they only have the hockey rinks where they have to set up the, the curling structure, and, and it really is difficult, but he said it's just uh, been amazing. So they've had, you know, uh, 150 and, and 160, 170 people out to these sessions where they used to get 35 and 40, and he said the, the fun thing, the nice thing is that they keep coming back and they really show a legitimate interest in enjoying the game. So, and that's going to happen all Please. around the world, Please. I think, and, and I'm positive of it. And, and if it does, then the, you know, the, the sport's just going to keep growing and growing and growing. It's a, it's a wonderful game that can be played at all ages. And we've talked about this a hundred times. I'm sure it's, it sounds repetitious to many of you, but it just is, uh, it's got all the elements that uh, Make it pleasing to the, to the public, young and old. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. Can move one. Control! Just control! No. No. Brenda got that a little wee bit, and okay, uh, you can see it with the extra weight. Are you with us now? I think so. Oh, you, you lost your voice for a while. People there. thought I was being awfully polite there, not uh, interrupting okay. you two, <laughs> which is very rare. Yeah, I don't think people thought that, actually. <laughs> a little, little problem. See? I was going to say that one of the things Dorothy Nordby was talking to me about what's going to happen with the post-Olympic period. And she said, one of the th reasons I know people are really getting into the sport is she says, they ask me good questions. Now there's more knowledge, more understanding of the game. And when they come out, right, you're right. They, they keep coming back and they want to know more and they want to play it. So she said, it's very exciting at this time. 
the same thing happened in Sweden as well. The uh, when they switched from the curling uh, that was coming out of the Olympics, so it was on television and being covered throughout Sweden. They went, they switched from curling to some skiing, and the lights uh, on the switchboards of the uh, TV station just lit up. You know, people were really enjoying the games and wanted to stay with them. So that's that's a great uh, a great step for our sport. It's no, it's one we've all waited for for a long, long time. Yeah, I'm just 88 kick. Just an exchange of stones, Lou. Margit Portner, the Danish third, another of those players that has come through the we junior ranks. Two-time junior whoa, Danish whoa, champion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Other games on the ice. Sweden against Switzerland. It's Gustafsson against Christina Lestander from Zug. The USA and the newcomer Kerry Eriksson goes against Kirsty Hay from Scotland. Jana Jokola from Finland against the two-time world champion Dordi Nordby. And Japan, Mayumi Okutsu from Tokoro goes against Andrea Schaaf from Garmisch Partnerkirchen. You love it when you get into those German words, don't you, Victor? Uh, just have the right amount of phlegm for those we, words, I think. We have to tell Linda that we, we just actually held your key down. It's an April Fool's <laughs> It was just a little late for April Fool's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's not. We wouldn't do that. Sometimes we'd like to, yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'll remember that. In <laughs> I give Helena a lot of credit. Uh, she has done very well this year, but I was in uh, Denmark a few years ago and she made dramatic changes with her delivery. They brought in sports psychologists. They wanted to become a better team. And although she's played a lot of times, it's uh, a real change to Helena in many ways. Well, this is her 15th trip. There's the new no backswing delivery she's decided to play with. Everybody's pretty happy that uh, the first end is a little bit simple, I'm sure. Kathy wants to get off to that running start with the win here, but they like to get those first few rocks underway and get the nerves out of the way. She admits that the uh, the win at the Scott Tournament of Hearts changed her life. She says her life is not her own anymore. Uh, she's been besieged by the media, particularly at home. And I think that may be the challenge too, Linda, is to uh, focus on the, you know, the task at hand and put all the other things aside. Because when you go into the Scott, you may be one of the favorite teams, but at least there are other teams that take the focus away. Here you are, the Canadian focus. You're right, but one of the positives is you can always make that mindset flip. If you're getting attention, that means that you've won, first of all, Canada. Now, if you're still getting attention, that means you're probably doing pretty well here. So it can be a really positive thing to be here and to have the attention and to just really enjoy the experience. I think one of the things, though, that it would be interesting to watch this week is that the approach to Kathy from the other teams. Uh, you know, Laliberti, Schmerler, uh, you know, in the past, you know, have been back a number of times, for example, just using those two, for example. And, and uh, I think there's an intimidation factor that uh, some of the, when the European teams or the uh, other teams played against those, those names uh, uh, in the game really, you know, played a role in the outcomes. Where I think that in this situation, uh, you know, now most of these teams, Christy, Hay, Helena, uh, you know, Andrea, they've all been to the Olympics uh, uh, this year. So they, they, they come here, I think, with a, in a very positive frame of mind. And that, and, and in no way, I think, when a new name comes from Canada, which is Borst, and a name that, you know, they've heard of, obviously, before from the Scott Turner Hearts, because they all watch, uh, uh, they get these tapes and watch these telecasts. Okay. Uh, to get uh, an educational, you know, they use them as an educational background. But I think that intimidation may not be there. So you're going to be interested to see how, how uh, the other teams react to Canada. So the chance for Canada to blank this first end, maintain control of the hammer. It'll be a throw through for this skip from the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton. 
Two-time Canadian Junior Champion in control, 77 just, and yeah, 78. Brenda Bomer will keep it clean. Kate Horn backs off and will go to the second end in this opening game of women's play. Canada maintain control of the hammer as they blank the first <laughs> okay. against Denmark. I never thought when my son moved away that I wouldn't see him for three years. It's just a tractor for my grandson. But this trip I wasn't going to miss. He's sleeping. This is for when he's older. My son had built his own life. Hey, Dad. You got a John Deere. Of course. But he still appreciates where he came from. Introducing the LT-133 from John Deere. Dollar for dollar, it's possibly the finest lawn tractor ever built. And it's the only one with a past as bright as its future. It's a beautiful morning. Ah. Bounce gives clothes, linens, and towels a freshness you can't help but notice. And your smile. In fact, you might find that adding a little bounce to your morning puts a little bounce in your step. And because bounce has time release freshness, you can count on fresh days every day. So put a little bounce in your morning and have a beautiful morning. Started with a pair of boots. Kodiak boots, actually. And it just grew from there. It grew from boots to shoes. From shoes to clothing. Everything to dress you up or dress you down. Oops, not that far down. You could say that wearing Kodiaks has taken on a whole new meaning. I cover the weather all across Canada, but no one covers the country like comfort and quality inns and hotels. Just look at this coverage. Out west and throughout the prairies, we see widespread locations across Ontario and Quebec. This coverage continues right through the Maritimes, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. The seven-stay forecast calls for more travelers discovering we've got something for everyone practically everywhere. And that's more than I can say about my forecast. Here at Cambridge Towel, I mean, we build towels. Walmart places an order, we ship it out two days later. Towels may seem like a boring thing, but it's actually a fun thing. Walmart continues to challenge us for better efficiencies. I'm proud to say that we are a Canadian manufacturer. People wake up in the morning, they have to shower, and they have to consequently dry themselves, and that's great to be a part of. What it takes to make a fluffy towel is a great team, and that great team makes the fluffy towel. When we're shipping that towel out to Walmart, we know it's the best product that we've built at a great value. Spring runoff here in Kamloops and Switzerland opens with one against Sweden. The USA, Harry Eriksson steals against Scotland. Finland, Norway, Jana Jokola against Dorney Nordby Blank, and it's a blank as well between Jam Japan and Germany. Here at the Riverside Coliseum, our featured game is on sheet B. Canada and Denmark, first women's game in these Ford Worlds for 98. Canada with the hammer playing the Red Stones here in the second. Interesting enough, Lynn, you look across all the sheets, there's no rocks in play hardly at all that last end. There was just everybody being a little bit cautious, a little nervous about the first game, of course. And it's pretty traditionally that that uh, is what happens. Kate's first stone of the end. They did put up the corner guard, and she's going to try and hit the front stone, the top 12-foot rock, and roll behind that guard. Easy. So a move by Kathy to get something going here. Up. Yep. We tap three. Roll it. Yep. Roll it. Nice shot. Does it shot stone? Top 12. Now, would you not, Linda, if if in fact you're Kathy Borst, and maybe that's her thinking here, she sees that Denmark wants to maybe take it a little easy, uh, they play a little more open in the first couple. In fact, now maybe she puts the pressure on Denmark and says, you know what, you don't want to play, I want to play. Now you're going to come and, come and get me. Definitely, but they also have the hammer, and so they're the ones that are probably going to make the first move in this case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the jam. Okay. Yeah, nine three. Yeah. Dorte home. We we want to nose that? No, we want to come under. Why? 
Knows that we still got a shot in there. Knows it? That's our rock. Knows our red. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, this lady was absolutely thrilled. And uh, at the closing banquet in Regina, I said to, you, to her, Brenda Bomer, when she was named MVP, I said that I know Ray's not here, but he'd probably be as proud of you yeah, as anybody. Yeah, she really, really is a tremendous player. Great personality and, and, uh, and maybe as, uh, as good a brusher as I've ever seen uh, from a female point of view. She really is strong and powerful and just a nice, nice person. Good player. Those are interesting comments by Heather. I, it just didn't make a lot of sense. She wanted to play yes. the red on the yellow. Yeah, she talked about playing the takeout to sit to rather than the draw. Yeah. Perhaps a concern about getting buried. Although that's the first Wait, time we know? haven't Wait. seen a rock really take off. But Wait, that uh, raise on the yellow could jam the yellow onto red too, Linda, take away your advantage. That's your move, isn't it? I don't know if she got that one going. Here's an interesting shot. She's taking about four inches of ice. It's the outside in. Yeah, we got control. Firm. Whoa. Firm. Almost normal. Up, clean. Right off. Whoa. No, 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 no. Sit, sit. Okay. Okay. So there goes the advantage of. You might in here, Becky. Chance for Helena to get the hit on the back one now. <laughs> Any reason for the change in the turn here, Linda? I don't think so. They're going to try and get a good look at this ice. As Ray mentioned, the ice yesterday, and you also mentioned, Vic, the ice yesterday was curling so much. Now they're trying to judge how much less it's going to curl today and also with weight what the difference is going to be in the ice. Margie Portner. Can't hold the shooter again. I sat there, too. It didn't uh, make any... It wasn't overthrown or anything, so... I think you're right. They just it's, it's a little different than the practice session for sure. Practice session for sure. You won't be in if you run it back. You won't be in if you hit it. You want to try anyways? Why don't we hit it, bounce, yeah, like that. hit it and bounce in a bit? Bounce in a bit? Can we bounce off? Yeah. What? Can we yeah. bounce in a bit? Yeah, we can. Control. Control. I really do think, especially on day one, Heather could be very pivotal for Kathy. They were talking a little bit in the first end. We could hear them about the Control. rules, the slightly different Control. rules. And whoa, 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 whoa. Heather will keep whoa. reminding them of those whoa. changes, I'm whoa. sure. Whoa. Remember that Heather is a whoa. world junior champion. Good call. Had to come up a little bit more. Control F? Yeah. You notice the little bands around the handle. We see that quite often among European teams in particular. They signify those two stones for individual players. <laughs> And here for, uh, the Canadians and the other teams that don't do that just mark the numbers of the stones down because every team yesterday during practice also looked at the stones and matched them up. It's decided on the best pairs for each player. Stones are all numbered though. On top of the That's right. So many <laughs> people keep a book yeah, on it, writing down all the numbers. Yep. And all you have to do is yep. remember your two numbers. Good. That's the way we need. It's not too bad. Okay. We might have to stick to nine fives on curly. Hey, Heather? 
One of the differences for Denmark is that Dorte Holm, who throws the second stones, holds the broom for oh, Helena block -Loverson. She is the acting skip now. That was one of the rules I mentioned. She is in charge of the house now that Helena has left to go throw her rock, and she will sweep behind the tee line for Canada skip stones if that comes into play. Yeah. Yeah. Canadian team taking a lot of time in these first few ends to discuss the weight, also on takeouts, because as I mentioned, that may be critical to the amount of curl that is on this ice today. You saw that Kathy Boris took quite a bit of ice and played that very quiet weight, <laughs> tried to utilize the curl to see if she could get a little bit of a roll. Lena black Larson, who won a world championship in 1982, playing third for Marianne Jorgensen. She was actually throwing the last rock and that Marianne was skipping. Nina! 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 Canadian teams, the uh, third skip rotation, Linda? Well, I found it very hard. I did try it once where I threw fourth rocks and somebody else called the game, and I just found it very difficult to feel good about throwing the last two rocks when I hadn't watched all the other stones come down the ice. And it's a very personal thing, but we see here that a different player for Denmark holds the broom, for example, than traditionally we see in Canada. We do see on some of the other teams they rotate in front end players. So you're right, Vic, some very different things are done outside of Canada. Yeah, we, and we've seen it here too, uh, go back to uh, situations, for example, Lukowicz and Chernoff did it uh, for a year that took them, took them to a world championship. And another throw through, <laughs> another blank. Canada trying to get something going, but a couple of rollouts couldn't hold the advantage. We'll go to three, still no score. There was a time when it was perfect. Clean. Untouched. You can have this taste again. 
Greta. Tap water transformed. There's a tire that can survive even this, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Run Flat. Even with no air pressure, Goodyear Run Flat technology lets you drive up to 80 kilometers at 85 kilometers per hour to safety, so you won't get stuck with a flat. Now that proves a point, huh? Eagle F1 Run Flat. Don't try this at home, folks. Sorry. Goodyear, Goodyear. Auto parts, auto parts, auto parts. We got them small, we got them round, we got them big, we got them long. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. Superior price for every type of range you know is built just right. Available at Auto Pro and UAP Napa member installers. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize High Gloss Car Wax. The protection of Teflon in one easy step. Durable paint protection and a lasting shine. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. We'll begin our updates with Sweden against Switzerland. Christina Leshtander from Switzerland opened with a single in the first with the hammer. Elizabeth Gustafsson from Umea, Sweden, two-time world champion. Coming off a disappointing performance in Nagano, makes the hit for two, and Sweden has the lead two to one as they go to the third. Leshtander from Sug has the hammer. The USA and Scotland, Kerry Erickson from Bemidji. Stole one in the first against Kirsty Hay from Perth, Scotland. And this the final stone for the Scottish skip. And she hits in 6-2 in the 12 for a 2-1 lead over the United States. Here at the Riverside Coliseum in this opening women's play, Norway after a blank in the first, Dordi Nordby. Takes the lead on Yana Yokola. And a second straight blank, Japan and Germany. And the Japanese, Mayumi Okutsu from Tokoro against Andrea Schopp. The Japanese ladies have the hammer. Canada still with the last rock here in the third after two straight blanks. Last end, Canada tried to get some offense going by putting up a corner guard. This end, there was an exchange of hits on the first wait, lead wait. rock for Canada. And then Lisa Richardson, the Denmark lead, missed an open hit. Canada was trying to put a stone in front of it, but not quite so deep. It was a double attempt. She won't quite get it out. So without taking any chances, Canada has a chance to get there to this end. Couple inches of ice. Brenda's out turn. Soft! Yep! Soft! Whoa! 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 Soft! Okay. Clean up! So it certainly, yep. Victor, isn't running or isn't curling as much as we saw earlier uh, go, 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 go. In, in the practice session, even before this game, but especially okay. yesterday when they were practicing. Was it? No. Looks like it's. No. Running nicely. Heard Heather Godperson saying soft. That'd be light, it would be. Yeah, a little bit lighter than, than called, perhaps. I, as I mentioned, today is the day they really concentrate on the weight that they're throwing. The teams uh, often use the stopwatches and talk about the times or use the words like soft to explain once it's released if it's the right weight. They're watching the stones, okay. all the Order little things you. on the first day of play as you're trying to get going and get used to the situations. Hmm. 
Because you look at the sheet of ice, the ice is a little bit narrower than international play dictates. The building wasn't quite large enough to accommodate, so it's supposed to be 15 feet 7 inches wide. It's only 14 feet 8 inches wide, so they don't quite have the same distances from the edge of the house to the side bumpers as we might in international play. In Canada, it's 14 feet 2 inches, so it's a little bit bigger than we see in Canadian play. Uh, okay. And of course, one of the times that comes into play is if we see the tick attempt. International play with the wider sheet, it's a little bit harder to get that tick all the way over to the boards because you have a further distance to do it. This, this sheet of ice is slightly in between. And that's one of the things, of course, that we'll be watching for, the tick attempt that happens often with four rock rule. And you, you see the players with the speeds. We talk about ice speed and we do time between the hog lines. This is brought to you by Karcher. And for takeouts, for women, it's about nine and a half seconds between those hog lines. Hack weight about 12 seconds. Now to start this game draws about 14 seconds. Yesterday in practice, it did get up to 14 and a half seconds. And for the guard, you could throw around 16 seconds. And sweeping did make a big difference in dragging the rocks there. Famous Brenda's! Whoa! Famous Brenda's! Whoa! It's falling out. Need to this, the roll at the inside. This is the spot Lisa missed, Ray. It looks to me like there is a little bit of a straight spot straight there spot. on that edge of, edge of the forefoot. 9-5. Ray, you're right, she didn't get the roll in, so <laughs> Heather's not happy with that one. And signaling down the ice and asking, was she a little bit outside? Nina! Margie Portner. Wait, wait! Wait, come look at this takeout. About the nine and a half seconds we talk about for normal takeout weight for women's play. We do see the men usually throw a little bit faster takeouts, although they will utilize the various weights depending on the shot. You want to freeze? She's not listening. Cass, you want to freeze? No, we'll wait. The idea there being what? Well, it's an offensive play to freeze down on the face. I think it's too late in the end. I, w I wouldn't, uh, I I'd play this too. And if you get it, happen to get a roll, you can maybe look at getting it on the corner guard on the other side. Nine, you can, you can play down to it, but. Only nine, five. Oh, whoa! They had the advantage, to, you know, they had it set up to get their two points, but uh, Heather Stone ran a little straight, obviously, and didn't get the roll to the inside. So I'd carry on the plan here, maybe. Uh, if Felina happens to roll out, then you can go over to the other side and try and get around that corner. Maybe you'd be able to chip it on. Hvad var det sidste take, jeg lavede, Inge? Var den ikke okay, far? Okay. Det er det omkring, ja. Line snatch that we're going to see if the ice gets keen, especially. Now watch that hog line. Whoa, 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 a little bit easier to be relaxed first day when you have had all those appearances as Helena has had at World Championship play. But I've noticed a little bit more relaxed attitude for, to her uh, lately, and maybe that's part of the reason she was more successful at the Olympics as well. Well, when you think about you know playing in the World Championship, fifth, this is her 50 yeah, times, unbelievable. Perfect. In a country like ours, we have yeah. absolutely no chance to ever do something like that. Free. Free. Obviously, the no roll, no roll, no roll. more you're here, the more experience you get. And then is, you know, taken because her 
Her uh, record in the last uh, four or five years has been getting better and better and better. And Shot. She beat Allison Goring Shot. in 1990, and in 94 she beat Sandra Schmerler in yes. a round robin game, and in 95 she beat Laliberti, and she lost in a playoff yeah. in 97 to Canada. So, you know, she just uh, progressively yeah. became better and better. But she does get an opportunity to get back here, having only to beat maybe five or six or seven teams to get out of Denmark. But by the same token, Linda, I think that, you know, when you're here so often, the edge is, isn't there, the thrill is gone. I mean, for Canadian teams to make it once is a, is a thrill. Uh, when you've been here so often, maybe uh, you just don't care anymore. Well, I, I wouldn't say that, but I mean, I think, I think what, you're, you know, what you're saying is it kind of like it's you, you book your holidays next year, you know, for, for yeah. knowing you. But I mean, the point is, I think this year has been psychologically for all the European teams in particular, more so than the Canadian teams, Wee! the Olympics has really made the whole tone different. Boys, you're going to get a piece of this. Fortner oh, Richardson, can they hold it up in time? Oh, they did. Good bit of brushing by the front end from the Hidover Curling Club. Richardson and Portner. Oh, chip and roll is possible for two. Yeah, there's having a look it's a at tough it. one, though, I'll tell you. It's way over. Yeah, it's there. Fourteen yeah. teeth. Okay. Looks like they're playing it. It's interesting that uh, she's playing it with this turn. This is sort of pushing it away from the 12th, but I guess it's just too difficult the other way where the rock is positioned. Looks like she's trying the chip. Yep. She needs a quarter of the stone. We can go. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. We can go. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. Catch a corner. Look at this. Sit. What a Very nice. beauty. Great shot by Canada's Kathy Borst. Elena Black Laverson saying, We can't leave her a thing. Yes, it's boredom twitch syndrome. You're lucky. There's a new treatment. Got boredom twitch syndrome? Get relief with Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of sports, movies, and entertainment, all with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. Hey! It's the Ottawa game! Thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. In the news, excitement is growing over the new brake technology announced by Midas. When tested on yellow cabs in San Francisco, these new carbon metallic brake pads lasted 29% longer than ordinary brake pads. Cab owners are delighted. Since they'll be spending less on brake repairs, they can now afford to spruce up their fleets. New performance friction carbon metallic brake pads, now at Midas. Canada started this dime time thing. I said to myself, Dime Boy, you gotta be a part of this. Call anyone in Canada any evening, any weekend for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, okay? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protective. 
bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. Position. Looks like she's trying to we haven't had many shots of any kind, but this is worthy of the Canadian Airlines key shot. Whoa. That's a great shot. Whoa. It was yeah. so casual. Yeah. That's why I was sort of Whoa. chuckling that uh, Kathy yeah. just walked down the ice, Heather put down the broom, and automatic, Ray. Here you go. Yeah, she, and this is a very tough uh, chip and roll because she has to catch it about a quarter of the stone because she can't hit, hit the stone sideways. She has to hit it slightly forward. Perfectly executed. To score two in the third, Canada. With the lead, Denmark will have the hammer grinder coming up tomorrow, Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The Grand Prix of Long Beach. FedEx Championship Series on TSN. The cars are back from their trip to Japan. A big extra point and those are the kind of points you like to get you know a great shot by Kathy to get it that extra point and now uh, it throws the ball you know the ball right to back to uh, Helena and Helena's going to have to make a move uh, to get uh, herself on the old fence to try and get an extra point otherwise Kathy will just play up and down the ice with her that is the control point Oh, well, nine, 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 Brenda Bomer, as we play here in the fourth, it's the opening women's game of oh, these 98 Ford Worlds. Good shot. Tonight, the Canadian like women will win. play Kerry Erickson from like Bemidji, Minnesota. It was 294. The men play just once. Wayne Madaw and his team from Toronto on the ice this afternoon against Peter Lindholm, the reigning world champion from Sweden. is playing the come around yeah. Have another look at the ice see how much it is curling in this spot very nice shot as you get yourself caught up on all the scores Switzerland with like one in the back. third to tie Sweden he likes straight like that the USA comes back with one and three to tie the Scots and Kirsty Hay. A blank in the third. Norway remains in front of Finland. And four straight blank ends. Japan and Germany up and down the ice. The Japanese ladies from Tokoro have the hammer playing five. Well, Heather kind of wanted to play the straight back run back shot. And uh, you heard Kathy say clearly, you know, I want to draw to the face of it. Yep. because the, uh, you can see they're getting some times and the rock seems to be just T-line and it's starting to go a little bit further. Heather really gets uh, really excited, you know. <laughs> the brushes are really going to have to be careful because she's always yelling. She's, hurry, 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 whoa, 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 hurry, hurry. And it really is, is uh, you know, in that case, uh, Brenda and Kate were listening to Kathy and rightly so at this end. Sometimes it's hard to... Do not react to a, a scream from someone. Messier! Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Margit's being asked to just tap the Canadian stone back. Now, the problem is, as soon as you add any weight, it will straighten up these stones a little bit. They need it to come over and miss their back one. Okay. Get the roll away. What's it gonna do here? It's gonna move more this way, right? Yep. Curls well off the line. Okay, so, so I can have control up. Yeah, I keep in the nine, the nine five range. Control. The nine five they refer to is? Well, they use both uh, hog to hog and backline to hog. I think they're talking about uh, 2.95 oh, backline to hog, but I'm not yep, positive. Two. I'm yes. not sure about that system. We'll sit right there. Well, that sets up the possible double now. Yeah. You had a 291 kick, which okay. is like mine. Eh? Yeah. I, well, nine two. I thought it would come this way, Mark. Like I have a nine two. Must be, huh? Yeah, it's nine the two. back line numbers. Yeah. Oh, okay. The early yeah. interval to back check out the weight. Yeah. Found that interesting. Get a two point. 9-1 kick. <laughs> <laughs> when it is fractions of seconds we're talking about from, when you see Margit throwing from there to the hog line, it's a very short distance. Nina! So yep, yep, it's yep. a difficult system. You have to be right whoa, on top whoa, whoa, of those stopwatches. Yep. Yes! Good chance here. Come down, come Make the down. double be behind the guard a little bit. Oh, Those are great job. Margit Portner. Almost better than. Nice and tight. Yeah. yeah. We come in draw with the. You took board though. here last time, and we got over to say where, like in between these yeah. two. Okay. Board. I think we can use. Yeah. Uh, she's got the ice cut quite a bit. It's probably half. Half the board. Half. Can throw a little more. You're yeah. Kate at the other yeah. end Control. talking about the weight. Or yeah, because firm. at least I can get it out yeah. of there. Kathy Borst, a native of Winnipeg. We have yes! 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 Right out of her hand, you can hear Godfordson calling Woo! on Horn. Woo! On the left, Homer's on the right. Quick, 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 hard, girl, One you of the best go, 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 brushing go, 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 front ends hard, in the game. Hard, They'll need to save it here, and they can't. She was inside right over her hand. I got that started, sorry. Got it started. Just rolled it over a little bit. And that will react much differently on ice that's swingy than just sliding out straight narrow a couple of inches and letting it go with a clean release. It's that motion of the hand towards the target as a, rather towards the stone rather than the target broom that really gets it curling. This is if you're Helena where you have to capitalize. You've gotten your mistake. Nice roll by Margit. Great roll. And now a miss, and this is where you have to get the second one in. Get the best with him to score, in fact. Yeah, let's go go with. Ah, he can't just like for tidy, for tidy. Certainly something Kathy's dreamt about for a long time, playing for that World Championship trophy. Elena is one of the roadblocks. Go for it. Gets them set up. 
That's or a possible two. That's great sweeping, too. They knew exactly where they wanted that one. Okay. Got seat. Control. So after losing the 95 Scott final, she breaks through in 98, Kathy Borst, and now it's time to refocus and turn her attention to this world championship. We are a very tight team. Um, hopefully we can stick together through the thick and thin, and I think that will get you a long ways in a, in a competition that lasts for, for more than one or two days. Like, you need to stay together through a whole week, and I'm... I'm hoping that with uh, you know the six of us helping each other, that will be uh, that will be the key to our success here. Just control, lean, just lean. Control, lead. Yep. 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 And when she talks right. about the six, hey, hey. she talks of course about the four that yep. we see, yep. and then yep. Rona McGregor, their Check. fifth player, Daryl Horn, their coach, and in fact there is a a seventh member of this team. Well, Lindsay Sparks is here as team leader and she will provide them some managerial assistance with Daryl being such a great coach. The Kathy Horst and her team have no problems there. But they've got all the help they need off ice. And Kathy's right, being a, a component, a good team component. And you see Daryl taking some notes and Rona just to his uh, far right, his left. It's important, important in a long competition. A lot of things happen over the course of the week and it would be nice to get off to a good start here. If it doesn't happen though, that's where the coach and all the players together have to make it happen for the next game. And here's the chance for Denmark and Helena black Laverson to get there two and tie it here in four. Richardson, Portner, wow. back wow. off. Wow. And sits there for two. So Denmark and Helena black Laverson take advantage of the mistake by Kathy okay. Borst with her first stone. We're tied, 2-2 going to the fifth in Kamloops. And now, another TSN Sports Break. Hi, everybody. Brendan Connor again in the TSN Newsroom. Looking in on some baseball, the Blue Jays trying to avoid their third straight loss as they host Texas this afternoon at Sky Dome. Let's pick up the action with Woody Williams on the hill for the Jays. He's doing his thing and looking in at a pretty good hitter. And Juan Gonzalez can't check the swing. First of a couple of Ks for Woody. But top of four with one on and one out. Williams serves up a beauty for Juan no, Gonzalez. And this time this he rocks it out to left one for his Gonzalez. seventh and eighth RBIs of the year already. With the Rangers lead by a score of 2 nothing. Also, a couple of hockey games starting up in just a few moments. We'll keep you posted on those as the playoff races in the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference are getting down to the wire. And these last eight or nine games really important. Again, we'll update you on those in a little while. And we'll be get back to the world curling from Kamloops right after this timeout. Another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize High Gloss Car Wax. The protection of Teflon in one easy step. Durable paint protection and a lasting shine. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. The Molson Canadian Championship Racing Series is ready to roll. Live from California, the Grand Prix of Long Beach, Sunday. See it, live it on TSN. Signals are everything, kind of pitch, when to run, steal, hat, turn a double into a triple. Sometimes a scratch or an itch can mean the ball game. 
Was I supposed to pick up milk on the way home? So today, too, I don't know what he told me. What he said to me? What is it? Welcome back to the Riverside Coliseum. It's the opening day of these 98 Ford Worlds from Kamloops, BC. Denmark comes back with a pair in the fourth to tie it 2-2. Canada has the hammer. And the Canadian stone out in front. Well, Denmark threw the uh, first one into, in that tough position. It was half in the rings and half out. So it allowed Canada to hit it. And Canada hit it right on the cake. Horn hit it right on the nose. A perfect shot. And now that shot is out of the rings into the free guard zone area. And so it cannot be removed. Yeah, and yeah, Helena yeah, did yeah, mention she doesn't mind this a little short. Yep. Or dead come buried, on, of course, is on, the other option. Come on. Lisa Richardson come from on. Schenectady, New York. Come on. Eight meter. <laughs> Top four and covered. Jordan Suwal, yes. Nice shot, and that is a great sign about the ice. When a guard is very close to the rings, it's a little bit more difficult to get dead buried, but that one is pretty well covered. You see the call by Kathy now. She's just going to, spray, going to freeze down to the face of that. And, uh, but in doing so, in attempting to do so, if it chips the front rock, she could roll both the red rocks into the rings. And she would not be sharp rock, but she'd be lying second and third. Kate Horn. Oh, we're back 12. Back 12. No back 12. One way you don't want to miss this is wide True. and heavy. Coming in front of it and controlling the eight foot, okay. front of the eight foot is not oh bad. Definitely, oh. you can't be deep. That, that's just, uh, that's kind of a mental mistake by Kate. You know, you don't see those very often for someone at, at this level. She, she just really, uh, yep. <laughs> just threw it too hard. She just drove out of there too fast. And don't they home? Stop. Stop now. Okay, so find some little little. Okay, 15. The so hard. Nose hit makes the double. Brenda Bomer. being pulled by the ice, do you think? She's got that outside, I think. Yeah, it's definitely not curling a lot, no. let's put it that way, with the extra weight. And you do expect that on takeouts. It's not as forgiving as a draw. If you're a little bit outside, it will still come back with a draw. She didn't throw that very hard, though, Linda. I mean, she didn't overthrow that or no. anything. Last, no... last, 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 whoa, whoa! Eat! Last! Eat! Last! Helen! Yes, but now she's in and I in. Yep, yep, look come on. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come no. Then no here. They no here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come no let it. They were hoping to tuck that a little bit around the red one. Prevent yeah. the run back. Yeah, Kathy's gotta play the run back now. Straight back. Brenda left the shooter in in a good yeah. position to be tapped up as well as make good contact with Shot Rock. Yeah. 
Just makes a move at the end. Uh, the Came enough. It looked like when uh, Margit let that go, she might have been a tiny bit inside, but that sweeping definitely held the line. Very close. Hit and roll, trying to hit the outside yellow one, roll across and behind the red and yellow into the four foot area. Heather Godverson. Bomber and Horn. And not enough to hold it. good that time and last two I didn't release well. I think that was good. Like I hit the six and the last one. Yeah. 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 She covered a number of the possibilities. Tap the one in the house up, hit the red one and roll over to guard the one in the house. But the third option is the one they're staying with and that's promoting the one in front of the house. Well, she didn't want to open up the back. Okay. okay. Like that. She wanted to curl a little more. You could run the front one back onto the other one and make Helena make a good shot. Or the hit the shot rock and roll in behind one of the two rocks in front. Run back, hit and roll. So the important thing is to roll so that Denmark's run back, red, yellow, red, is not as easy. Started to make a move, but it'll sit there, top eight. Thought I threw that good guy. Wayne Madon, his Canadian men's championship team from the St. George's Golf and Country Club in Toronto, open against the reigning world champion Peter Lindholm of Sweden. That's coming up this afternoon here in Kamloops, and we'll have highlights of that when we join you again later tonight with the second women's draw, Canada. Kathy Borst against the USA. Mm. 
prøver jeg at ramme. Prøver jeg lige en chance for Alina to keep the pressure on here. It does look to me like the edges of the forefoot, which is about where Helena is throwing on this particular takeout, are a little bit straighter with the extra weight. Yeah. Good hit and roll here. We already put uh, the Danes in a good position and maybe forced Kathy to have to draw. There has not been a lot of draws played today. Shot. Play the run back oh, now. Yeah, Mark, that's what he kept. That's what he had us looking at. Might roll over here anyway. Open it up in front. I don't mind that. Come on. Okay. I'm just thinking for the doubles there. I think this is far enough. Oh, the safety part. No, I'd rather over. Do you want to get like? Some pretty good results on this if he hits this just off the center back onto the yellow stone on the center line Bounce side yeah. okay. roll across towards the other yellow stone on the other side the other thing is too you'll open up the that side of the oh, rings for yourself in case you have to draw i personally like this call be my choice kathy borston her first in a 2-2 tie very fast and late movement. Uh, they didn't catch that with the sweeping. Really moved it. Through weight is on the control soft side. I'd say 97. Sorry about that. That was kind of weird. Brenda did that, I think, too. Came up quite a bit at the end. Then I asked. Yeah, yeah, it was a big man. This stuart took the hunt. Update yourself on all the scores. As games have now many of them close to or reached the fifth end break. As then here has seen many gang. Then here has I seen really many gang. Just there, come on. Let's go then, man. Yeah. I have seen Dina. I have seen the. Come on, man. Is it ready? Yeah. To see the order, that's going to be clear. Yeah. Dorothy Holmes seemed to indicate thought about coming with the out turn the other side and try to get to the button that way. Uh, what was wrong with that idea? They know this spot a lot better. This is where they played a lot of the early shots. Kathy's going to take a really good look at it. You can see both Heather and Kathy with the stopwatches out to check this yeah. out in case they can just follow this rock down towards the button area. But if you don't put this in the right spot, don't you leave yourself open to a possible double here? Yeah, you're right that if you came the wide side, it might be a little bit easier to spread them out. But she's aiming for the button and she's aiming to be dead buried. And if she succeeds, uh, the double would be much tougher. Final stone for Denmark, Canada with the hammer. Your, your comments are... Very true, Vic. She's a lot safer to play the draw with the other turn, but I really think, as Linda mentioned, it's a matter of her not knowing the ice on that side, that side at all. It's, they haven't played any shots over there at all, and that's... It's a little too deep, and it just didn't make the break. She gets that rock in a good spot. She's in a posi good position to steal. We saw from the rock clock that the time is what we're talking about, 14 to 14 and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty quick here. That was 
First real pressure shot on, in this game. Step. 45. Yep. Yep. I had a 40. Gabby Borst yeah. looking at two. Yeah. Yeah. Godverson. Now calling Back Bulmer and Horn Clean. off. Clean. Clean. Shot, Kath. And will sit full eight for a single point. Canada picks up one here in five. They'll go to the fifth end break with a 3-2 lead over Denmark in this opening women's game. The 98 Ford Worlds from Kamloops, BC. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protective, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. with a pair of boots. Kodiak boots, actually. And it just grew from there. It grew from boots to shoes. From shoes to clothing. Everything to dress you up or dress you down. Oops, not that far down. You could say that wearing Kodiaks has taken on a whole new meaning. TSNScout.com. Why search anywhere else? The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Star Choice, Canada's leader in digital satellite television. And by AT&T Canada. AT&T Canada, it's all within your reach. Canadian coach Daryl Horn speaking with the Canadian women's team. They're in the fifth end break of their first game against Denmark with their coach, Mikael Quist. <laughs> Canada with a 3-2 lead over Denmark. <laughs> An update for you, Finland against Norway as they play in five. Finland scored one in the fourth. That was a steal by Jana Jokola. Norway and Dordi Nordby now with the hammer as they play the fifth. In her 10th appearance at a world championship, Nordby, the two-time world champion in 1990 and 91. And has the draw for three. As they go to the fifth end break, Norway with the lead on Finland. We're in Kamloops, BC for these Ford Worlds.
At Ford, we're working on a new fuel cell with Canada's Ballard Power Systems. It uses hydrogen to make electricity. One day, it could power your vehicle. The exhaust would be nothing but clean, hot water. Go from Saskatoon to the coast, and you'd have enough water to take a bath. While others dream, we drive forward, never slowing, never stopping. When AT&T Canada started this dime time thing, I said to myself, dime boy, you got to be a part of this. Call anyone in Canada, any evening, any weekend, for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, OK? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. Next, another case of boredom twitch syndrome. Nothing relieves boredom twitch syndrome like Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of movies, sports, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. <laughs> Honey, our favorite movie! Oh, thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. Another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia, connecting people. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize High Gloss Car Wax. The protection of Teflon in one easy step. Durable paint protection and a lasting shine. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. Still some snow, still some skiing not far away at Sun Peaks, home of Nancy Green. We're in the Thompson River Valley here in Kamloops, B.C. for these Ford World Curling Championships at the Riverside Coliseum as we begin play at the sixth end. First women's game in Canada with a 3-2 lead. And Denmark, Helena black Laverson has the hammer. Sorry. This is a little more what we're used to, a front rock and a chance to come around for the team with the hammer. We often do see the play to the four, but even with the four rock rule. God, Lisa. Well, I tell you what, if she has the weight, she goes right to the button. And where was the brush there? 12 foot. It was. It's starting to move more, and you can tell from the rock times and the comments, it's starting to slide a little more. Now, that rock appears to be outside the rings as well. So Canada will come the other way around the redstone. This time, brush is on the edge of the 8 foot by Kathy Vorst for Kate Horn. Mine's good. Yeah. Lots of room. Not in. Tight. Lots of room. I think I'm in. Whoa. Where is it? Tight. Lots of room. Yeah. Free for line. Tight. Free line. Room. Tight, tight, whoa, tight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the yeah. difference with the four rock rule. They didn't want that one in either because it still cannot be completely Anyone? removed from play. Canada's made a decision at the fifth end break to get some more rocks in play. Why you too fast for that? I let me a farting. Now, the fact that they overlap their two red stones, does that create a potential problem, or is it still stones in play? Now, those stones are in play, deck for sure. It's just that uh, if you're talking about being, the ability to be able to run the back, yeah. This is a raise by Helena. She's trying to raise this rock back. Top of the forefoot. Yep, 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 yep. 
hand taken. Little split instead. She rolls them both in. That's a good shot. 12, 8, 4. We picked the best out of it. Simon Eyes brings you Linda's numbers after five. The end of the game started with a very open end, and then we saw a couple of blanks. So the numbers would be a little bit higher with open play. And you do see Denmark's numbers very nice down the right hand side. Draw percentage at 89%. Canada a little bit lower in that area. And that will be the area they'll want to bring up so that they can get this aggressive play going and maybe see some steals go up on the board. Nice split by Denmark as it turned out she was playing the raise back when she got the split. So she's got uh, second shot in the, uh, in the rings over in the 12 foot. Chance to hit and lie too. The roll behind the two red rocks, the ones that are overlapped a bit, as Mr. Rudder points out. The eye of the hawk. Dorte <laughs> home. Nina, boots! Very close. Now a chance for Canada to get the, get the roll. Those two center lines, Stones are teasing them as we get you caught up on all the scores. Call again. The USA got uh, one in Nina. the fifth to trail nah, Scotland by one. We showed you Norway's three. Tina, and Tina, Germany Tina. gets one in the sixth to tie Japan as they play in seven. All the games have been played pretty wide open, Victor. Den er også 11-21. Godt set, Mange. Godt spillet. with you this evening at 10.30 p.m. Yeah, Eastern Time. That's 7.30 Pacific as Kathy Borst goes against the United States and yeah. Carrie Erickson from Bemidji, Minnesota. Yeah. Erickson right now on the ice against Scotland and trailing Kirsty Hay 4-3 as they play Can the six. Yeah. We can see Helena's That's problem, uh, Linda. She doesn't want to leave that rock there. Uh, she could draw, come with the intern draw to the top four foot and lie two. Yeah. Uh, she does have last rock, and that would be, you know, that would be a very aggressive call and maybe put her in a good position to score a couple, but she, she's just worried about leaving that there. It is a nice stone that could be promoted up by Canada, and you can see how Canada's managed to inch that stone further and further out so that a nose hit will mean that Denmark isn't in the rings, and Canada can hit the other one on the other side of the house. Okay. It's important that Kathy gets the roll here and keeps this rock in play, otherwise uh, Denmark can go right up and tap that yellow stone back, the one just outside at the 11 o'clock position, just outside the 12 foot. Out turn hit. Young Heather Gubertson. 
World Junior yep, Champion. Yep, 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 yep. Wee! Wee! Horn and Bomer Wee! jump this right out of her hand. And they won't be able to hold the shooter. Now, Lena has got a couple of choices. She could play the intern, come around, around the two red ones. She could tap up her yellow stone. Linda, except for that split for the two in the third, I don't think this Canadian team has played that well. Well, the first two ends were totally wide open. Canada had a little chance with an open miss by Denmark in two, yep, but after, really there wasn't a lot uh, that was going on. I don't think they're sparkling as far as uh, what they would like to be playing, but it is first game, and it's just a little See? bit harder to get going after being here for a couple of days, as yeah, I mentioned, and so practicing and waiting. It's just yeah. tough whoa, to get everything going the way you want it to be. Good call by Helena. She's going to play the intern, come around. She's got to get this buried, though, and in front of the T-line. It's just not finishing. <laughs> okay, go far. You want to she cleared the front guard by a long way, so maybe just a touch too much ice, but it really didn't finish big time, Linda. Yeah. No, it didn't. We, we saw a lot more movement in the practice session just before the game started. The building's a little cooler. It's cooled off in here, I can tell you that for sure shivering having not brought my coat she otherwise another wise decision by the old moose <laughs> you two look so comfortable <laughs> with our with our overcoats you mean these ones these that we brought yeah <laughs> well it is beautiful bc and i just figured the weather i wouldn't have to worry about it but linda points out this building does have air conditioning and they're trying to keep it cool to keep the the ice uh, under control. Not very thoughtful of them, considering I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Helena and the other players like it, though. Yeah, Less right. frost and good ice conditions. Now, on an earlier shot, I did say that these tap backs are sometimes tough because Kathy has just seen the rock for Denmark come down. And as you mentioned, Ray didn't finish no. all that hard. So now you're trying to say, well, I have to tap it. I'm trying to move it a little bit. So how much ice do I need for this shot? And it is a bit of a guess. That soft hack. Hack! Yeah, we got hack! Whoa. On its own hack! Whoa, right? whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. that's Off. firm. Off 24 kick. So for hack weight, it's about 11 and a half to 12 clean. seconds. No, clean. Weight clean. looks great. No. It's just not moving very much. Yeah, they're hard, hard together. Just did not finish at all. This is a great chance for Denmark now. They get around this top, around the center guard to the top of the eight foot. They'll be lying two. Can have them well covered. Getting there is the trick, but. I was somewhat surprised that Denmark hadn't won a Winter Olympics medal prior to Elena Black Larvison and the silver in Nagano, but she was the first, and boy, was the country proud. We've been uh, shown a lot. Uh, on TV and uh, on the radios and all the magazines. And so it's like in those three weeks out in Japan, our life changed from being absolutely a normal person which nobody could recognize. Uh, then when we got back, we were uh, a little bit famous. <laughs> so that's fun. That's cute. And a little bit is under yeah. an understatement. They, they really have been swamped with the tension and that's just wonderful for our sport everywhere you know it's well, she's a terrific person and she will handle that attention well and, and do her sport proud yep and she's in a great spot right here if she can make a good come around and get it buried it's staying out again too but uh, if she gets us around the center guard Tackle? Just yeah. buries it a wee bit. If she yeah. just get it tucked a wee bit, she could really put herself in a position to score. A little too deep. 
allows Kathy a chance to come down quietly and just sit on the face. Foran, siger, that rock has to be top of the eight foot. A little less weight, so and I think it would have made a little bit more move. Yeah, if you give it to the sweepers, it will react slightly differently. It's like it's under more. Yeah. Shouldn't have a lot of rotation on the handle either. 14 T. Okay, come to it, we're shot. It's really funny how it's changed because yeah. in practice, Linda, it was coming across around four okay, feet. It just moves at the end. It really doesn't move to the end. No, okay. it sure doesn't. Denmark with the hammer, the last rock here in this sixth. Canada leading 3 2. Opportunity for the okay. Danish yeah. skip, the civil silver medalist from Nagano. They're going to take a few moments to put the broom down for this one. This is a huge shot, and we've just seen what I think is too much ice for both draws that have been played into that spot. And Kathy, maybe a bit too much ice for the tap she tried that hung out. Everybody's been fooled by that spot. In turn, quiet hit for three. You can see Very important to set into your mind if you're Helena, the weight you're throwing, and not throw extra weight or it will not come over. Now we'll see if those 14 years, this being her 15th, all that experience comes to the fore right here with a quiet takeout for three and really take control of this game. Once again, Whoa. Richardson, Portner. Come on, Ada. Perfect control. One, two, and three for Denmark here in six. Taking advantage of a Canadian team that just doesn't seem sharp here in their opener. Denmark. Jumps in front. 5-3. Since 1982, Scott Paper has been the proud sponsor of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. That's right, Gavin. Scott Towels has been there for the spills of victory. And Scotty's was there for the disappointments of defeat. Oh, that was a tough loss. Here's Sandra Schmerler and the Scott product team practicing their winning form. What great action. That Scott team really delivers. That was great. As always, the Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by this family of fine Scott paper products. So, what are we going to do today, Matt? Shave it off. <laughs> All of it. Just... <laughs> okay. No, it's just this dandruff. It goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back. Well, we can take care of that. Head and shoulders. With regular shampoo, flakes can keep coming back. But Head & Shoulders helps prevent flakes before they start. You may never see flakes again. And your hair looks great. Glad I didn't do something stupid like shave my head. Head & Shoulders changes dandruff problems into great-looking hair. I had a great childhood, full of laughter. I want my daughter to have one, too. 
But growing up isn't just fun and games. There's more to it than that. Introducing the CIBC Smart Start program, a unique way to help ensure your child has the brightest, most secure financial future possible. It makes banking simple, relevant, and fun for your child. I'd like her to stay a little kid forever. But as a parent, I owe it to her to look beyond that. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Seeing beyond. You don't choose to have an accident, but you can choose your repair center. More than one million Canadians have relied on AutoPro, the largest network of automotive professionals. AutoPro Collision, a courteous reception. Professional repairs, qualified technicians, specialized equipment, and in addition to AutoPro's national warranty, take advantage of our deductible protection plan, AutoPro Collision. People you can trust. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize High Gloss Car Wax. The protection of Teflon in one easy step. Durable paint protection and a lasting shine. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. Updating our game between Finland and Norway, Anna Erikainen throws the fourth stone for the team from the Havinka Curling Club, skipped by Jana Jokola. Dordi Nordby just failed to make the triple. Had a chance to score two, but couldn't hold the shooter, Aina Kainen. And it's a 5-2 to two Norway leading Japan and Germany in a 1-1 tie as they play the seventh final stone for the Japanese skip from Tokoro. Mayumi Okutsu playing Andrea Schott from Garmisch Partenkirchen. Crashes in front. And raises the German stone in when she had a draw for two. And so it's a big steal by Schopp, two to one. All the other scores for you are in this opening draw of women's play, Sweden, Switzerland. Blank at four, five, and six remains two, two. The USA and Scotland. Scotland gets one in six to lead five, three. Kirsty Hay from Perth. And that three for Denmark jumps off the scoreboard against Canada, five, three. Denmark leading. Canada and Kathy Borst with the hammer yeah. playing the seventh. What a huge miss for the young uh, Japanese skip, uh, Victor. A draw for two and you give up a point. That's a huge swing. You're going into a 1-1 you're one -one game and you've got a chance to get two to take complete control and instead you're down a point. Yep, Boy. Yep, yep. Looks like everybody's getting a little fooled by the oh, Iceland. Oh, wow. I think so. Wait, Here wait, again, wait, wait. Helena had one in the house. Canada threw up the corner, and Helena went to guard it. That's Please the Yellowstone in front of the house, and it just didn't come over. I still think they're taking too much ice in that spot. It left Canada the hit and roll, which wasn't made. Denmark exchanged the hit, but Brenda has another chance for the roll yep. on this shot. Brenda Bomer. Good numbers being posted by the players today. As I mentioned, the beginning of the game was open, and that always helps bring your numbers up. Yes. Well, a chance for Kathy to get uh, something covered now. Let's see. How much ice she takes for this uh, intern come around. Yep. Well, that's the ice they needed in practice. I'm not sure they need that much ice right now, Linda. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of shots out here, mind you, but we'll, we'll soon get a look at it. But this way, it has a to repeat, so. Okay, never mind. I think we're okay. 
they're just discussing the weight out here as well. Now in the very center, it is fast, 14 and a half seconds. They feel out here maybe a little bit slower. There's a tiny bit of frost creeping in. But it will be interesting to see if they get that movement late in this spot. T line back. Top eight. No, T. 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 Yeah, no, it's back. It's back. It's back. Oh, Katie. Uh, missed the front front guard by two and a half feet. Check. Mean hell. Mean hell, Bruce. Mean hell. Mean hell. Margie Portner. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're not picking up the change because it does seem, Ray, from the beginning of the game that everything's been running straighter. Now, there's a takeout that maybe was a little bit okay. outside, but it seems no, to me that they're not yeah, cutting the ice down and trying to just get there's those no question. Uh, You're absolutely, close to the absolutely guards. Absolutely correct. It's just, you know, that's kind of thing, that you, you know, that uh, maybe in the, in the fifth end, your coach should be kind of talking about if, you know, if he has picked it up and, you know, it's, uh, she's cut the ice down considerably here, you know, obviously. Realizing that the uh, first one didn't curl at all. At the edge of the eight foot, so it should uh, oh, oh, get a little bit of movement here. T line, T line. Oh, long. We got T line at least. Whoa. Back. Whoa. Going back. Going back. Whoa. Yeah, it is going back, too. She's right. Whoa. Running straight as straight, straight, straight. Oh, still T flat. Back. Go back. You can. Right back. There, whoa, now, whoa, now it's finishing whoa. a wee Jeff. bit. But they can't keep sweeping. If Kathy wants it back, she's going to have to take it. That is the different rule at world level. She got it a uh, quarter of it covered. Half of it covered. Yeah, it definitely was moving late. And with that sweeping weight, I think that's probably the good ice. If I need head. So they have to remember that. It did hold for you. We had the advantage of having that four foot line there. You see, it, was, it wasn't going anywhere for such a long time. Richardson. Come Come Hold. Can they hold it by? Do you have a ball, Mama? Yeah, okay, Magin. So a chance now for Canada with the hammer here to possibly get the two back. And the big two it would be, Victor. Be okay because it starts curling and it gets live. You heard the big Less news way. out of Vancouver, of course, uh, right Victor, ahead. that uh, Linda's mixed team went on Where to win the championship without her. <laughs> That's right. Help. Help. They did. In turn, come around. This is a good chance to tuck it behind those rocks just out in front of the rings. Kathy Borst out to join Hi. Horn and Bomer. Missed opportunities. You'll look back on them if you don't get them there. Got to get this one there. Drag it far enough. <laughs> and just short. Perfect line, just not enough weight. She just under threw it. Good job, girls. 88. Yeah, they did sweep it a long way. It looked like it was quite light. Heather knew it. <laughs> and by her numbers, got <laughs> this. Struggle a little bit. Well, as you say, Linda with some open ends to start it off. That's a magnified 77. That's right. And against Margit's great numbers, too. She's got to try and make a few of those. I mean, they're only two down. That second point was huge there. Alina must stay here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see another chip and roll to lie to. The main problem on skip stones has seemed to be mostly the ice reading in it. We've seen the last few shots. It looks like both Helena and Kathy have picked up those spots a little bit better now. Nina! Nina! Okay. 
Well, Dan's uh, made many mistakes, Linda. Ben. Actually, the only mistake that Helena's made is that one rollout where she gave Kathy uh, Borst yeah. a chance to play the chip and roll, which Kathy made a great shot. Here's a chance for the hit on the uh, yellow stone. Roll across in behind the stones out in front. <laughs> Potentially set up two. Kathy playing the inside out shot, which she may feel she may have a little more control over. That will be one adjustment we will watch for in some of the teams. If it does tend to be a little bit straighter in the wide shots, the outside in shots, we'll see if they make the change to the inside out play to get those rolls. Maybe a little bit easier. Kathy Borst in her first. Yeah, yeah, This email brought to you by at and Canada from oh, London, Ontario. What are the pros and cons of the four rock rule when compared with the three rock rule? Well, in uh, three or four seconds and more, uh, well, obviously with the four rock rule, there's the, the opportunity to get uh, to get uh, more rocks in play because you have the two chances to get the rock out in, in front and they can't be uh, they can't be removed from play. So. Uh, in the three rock rule, Linda, if you miss that one, then you've given up that opportunity, and and so you're going to have uh, you know more more opportunity to generate the offense under the four rock rule. There's no question. I guess if there's a, a disadvantage, it is that uh, or some critters. I think we're going to see maybe you know some changes in our uh, thought process. But uh, one of the disadvantages I think is that you see very little play into the 12 foot area. Most of the plays in the in the center of the rings. So you kind of eliminate the 12 foot play. That's one of the disadvantages. Yeah, one of the other thoughts is just the last rock advantage. With the four rock rule, that last rock advantage is diminished somewhat. The team that throws first seems to control that four foot area and is the first that is able to play the take it on front rock. So it's tossed around, but Canada is the only country that plays with the three rock rule and the rest of the world does not seem to be making a move our way and I haven't heard Vic had mentioned maybe some discussion of going in no. Canada the four rock uh, direction but I haven't heard that discussion as yet. No thought at all yeah. here of taking hey, it peel. and trying yep, to yep, yep, steal. Yep. Hold on to the hammer and she'll get the blank. Canada again with an opportunity to get two back, but Heather Godberson comes up light. The blank means Denmark with a two-point lead. Canada still with the hammer. Over to Sam again. And now, another TSN sports break. Hi everyone, Brendan Connor in the TSN newsroom. We've got some baseball highlights for you uh, this afternoon from Sky Dome, where the Blue Jays are taking on the Texas Rangers, and we pick up the. Crawford last night, uh, he thought. Oh, that pardon me. We're going to Joe Sakic back in the lineup for the Colorado Avalanche after Bauer. being injured back in the Olympics. Sakic looking like he's not any worse for the wear after all the time off, taking some good runs in this game against the Blues, and Joe Sakic trying to set up Kaminsky on the left side doesn't go, but St. Louis is going to get a goal here to start the scoring in this game. Pascal Rayon makes it 1-0 for the Blues after one. And the latest score in from the Blue Jays game, and we were talking about that at Sky Dome. They are taking on Texas, and the Jays are trailing 4-2. Back after this. Your car is a high-precision instrument. Take it to AutoPro. With qualified personnel and state-of-the-art equipment, it's the expert on brakes, front-wheel drive, Steering, suspension, and mufflers. All protected by AutoPro's national warranty. AutoPro, the largest network of car care professionals. It was about the time that gold was discovered on Bonanza Creek that the Canadian Bank of Commerce set out on the epic trek to the Klondike. 
to open the first official bank. There was plenty of gold, all right, but the men knew they could trust the bank because they were there on behalf of the government and could see a larger dream, a dream called Canada. As in the past, CIBC continues to play a pioneering role by investing in Canada's vision of the future. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protective, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. All the flags of those member countries of the World Curling Federation hanging from the roof of the Riverside Coliseum here in Kamloops in this opening day of the 98 Board Worlds. As we continue with our update, Sweden against Switzerland in a 2-2 tie. They blanked four, five, and six, and this is the final stone for the Swedish skip from Umea, Elizabeth Gustafsson, the two-time world champion in 92 and 95 won the bronze medal at Nagano in her fifth appearance at the Worlds draws for one they measured for the second point she has a 4-2 lead over Switzerland and Christina Leshtander the USA and Scotland as they play in seven 5-3 Scotland leading final stone for the young skip 26 year old Kerry Erickson in her first appearance and it'll roll just a little too much steal of one for Kirsty Hay and a 6-3 lead. Erickson was actually trying to make a double there for three Vic. She had an opportunity to catch that on the outside a little bit and just catch the back one and had she made that shot she would have scored three. And of course that blank means Canada retains last rock advantage and they were trying a freeze in this situation. Denmark sitting the two yellows in the house. Canada has that guard up. This one just over curled a little bit. Good call. <laughs> but it's at anywhere between those two yellows it would have been very difficult to remove this. Shot. All the scores late now in this opening women's draw. That's good. Or tap, or we can Back hit roll. Line. Like that? Back line, it's 14 team. Kathy's just going to tap this back. Godberson. Good shot. Good girl. Heather, or Kathy. I don't think so much that my two is straight, I think my one curls. That's the difference. Okay? Shot. We've been thinking two straight, I think one just curls a lot. I had another one where it really broke. Let's go first. What? Four five on two first. Five and What was Kate trying to point out about her stones? Well, I think they were brooming based on some knowledge about the stones, and they were doing it the wrong way, thinking one was straight, but it's actual fact that Kate thinks one curls more than the other, more than the rest of the set that they have, and they'll try and broom the rock a little bit differently. Canada with the hammer, yellows are piling up. 
But piling up in a way that's actually going to favor Canada, if Brenda can get anything nestled in between those two yellow stones, even though they're in front of the T-line, if Denmark makes a pass at them, you could end up with the Canadian stone being left in the house. T, roll for nine. Got bump, bump, roll for nine. You just come across the face a little bit and get it, uh, as you mentioned, Linda, frozen on a little bit of an angle, and you're not going to get it out of there. Back 12. Back 8. It's only back 8. Back 12. No line on it yet. It's the wrong side. Okay. Anywhere on the other side of that stone. This way. Lean out. Email from Grand Menon. I suspect from New Brunswick. Why are there bands on the handles of the yellow stones? Well, I mentioned Nina, earlier yep, that yep, in fact it's yep. uh, something we Whee! see many Europeans do. Come it just signifies way! which stones belong to which thrower. So they'll use different color bands. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. And in Europe, wait, lots of the stones uh, aren't sister. numbered, uh, Vic, so they get in the habit of doing that. They'll match the stones oh, themselves and put ribbons and bands on them. And over here, all our stones uh, have the numbers on them, so you don't see that. Uh, or what two, two numbers you're throwing. Okay, I kind of like that. You don't this one, yeah. That. Hold it. This hit a lot, When we were playing yeah. in international play, they actually no. at first didn't permit that. They didn't allow roll? anything on the stones, but no. uh, when it was explained that it wouldn't do here. anything to harm okay. the stone, doesn't impact it in any the way, the they changed that what? ruling, and now uh, the players can do it. for the roll. Try and tap it back. I heard Heather mention there's lots of options. If they wiggle off any one of these stones, they might end up on a good angle on the other stone. Trying to get something going here. Trying to get there too. I think so. Yep. It's 47. Line go. good. Go, go. Line's good. Got a curl. Line's good, girls. Whoa. 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 Whoa for we. Whoa. T line. Whoa. Coming down. Whoa, Katie, whoa! It's a nice so shot. Not. 47 kick, it's frosty out there. Right? That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. Good move. Yeah, must be bigger, eh? That's how we're going to put it in here, Lima, though. Okay. A little bit of frost out there. Not a lot, but there's a little bit of a frost sneaking in, as you mentioned earlier. Not very much, though. Can we use that there? Let's see what we can do. We can't get anything. What? Can we play the same as they played? Can we play the same as they played? sitting three. That's why they're having this discussion. Do they want to try and do anything on this side? Well, what can you do? You can use this here, but it's... And we're sitting with three, so why don't we put more pressure on her? Marcus, we can do the same as they just played. We can't. Nej. Mm. Vi kan ikke se, hvordan det ligger. Okay, godt. Skal vi gå ned og dybte ja, dem? Ja, rejse den. Så de ikke kan komme det. Hun vil altid lige meget. Vi kan aldrig nogen sådan dække den der, sådan, så hun ikke kan... Kan gøre noget. Nej, for hun vil altid kunne komme til at ramme den på den der side. Hvem vil lave noget helt i den anden side? Ignorerer det, og så går herover. Jeg ved det ikke. Altså, du kan være regnet med, at hun kommer med den der, så er hun sikker. Mod alle dem der, vi kan ikke gøre en dyt ved det. Ikke? Jo, så kan vi selvfølgelig bruge den der bagefter. Ja. Yeah. It's a danger if they go after the Canadian stone, if they don't hit it at the right angle. Bare lige herovre. Ja, det er også det. Så vi blokerer for den der. Ja. Skal ikke skubbes mere end? Nej, nej. Bare indlæg til tid, det er fint. And you do notice that even though it's uh, yeah. third Margit Portner <laughs> throwing the rock, it's Dorje Hong, who is the acting skip, the one that holds the broom for Helena that comes down the ice and discusses the strategy. Well, it's not a real hard rock to remove. You could just come, you know, come across the face a little bit and drive it out. But as you mentioned, the, the uh, Danes are lying three here. 
So she's going to come down, try and just chip the Yellowstone in behind the Redstone and roll over a little bit. Yep, yep, Kathy Moore still has an opportunity on the other side of the sheet to get behind the corner. Not, a, not at all what she wanted. Okay. She wanted to hit it on the other side. Canada can tap that back now or sit on the face of it. Go far, man. Same way, back line. Heather Godverson as we play in the eighth. Canada down 5 3 in their opener. Sunday night baseball comes your way tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. San Francisco and the Arizona Diamondbacks. There it is. You just see a little bit of a frost build up. Kate, Kate. The shiny part, of course, in the center where it's being used a lot. The frost sneaks in from the edges. You can see that's the whiter area, the duller area of the ice surface. That, of course, is one of the things they're trying to control with the temperature in this building being a little chillier, isn't it, Linda? That's right, and unfortunately, as the frost creeps up, no, uh, the yeah, stone is no longer yeah. riding as well on the pebble. That's the water they sprinkle on the ice, which freezes into droplets. Yeah. Yeah. There's more friction between the ice and the stone, and it does drag some of the weight off it, and that's what the Canadian team is talking about. Just not executing the Canadians. This is staying out there, isn't it? Right on the frost line. But never, ever moved an inch. And Helena did not throw that badly. It just sat right on that edge of that frost line and it sat right there all the way. Why is that a little bit of ice? It's too much ice. What? It's too much. Yeah. Okay, I gave you center. You have to take a little more. Yeah. What? 14 T. We got a space it. 13 7 T. Around, around, Which way? Right or left? Remember, uh, Heather had a 64. It really come down. Yeah. Yeah. Now they want to put it right where the brush is, or do they mind playing back? You want to leave it high if, if you can? Or? No, they can come right back to the face of it. Uh, More ice, Heather. If they do stay a little higher, 14, when Helena, if Helena was to hit the open one, the one closer to center line yeah, and cross, sit cross, there, cross the to they up, would be shot bad. over it for sure. That would be the one advantage of being just T-line. want to try and get it back a little bit though I think so you just don't let them make a double of any nature on you now it's going to be hard to make a double in there because there's so many rocks but Hurry! 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 Hurry!
Is the time about good? It is under these ice conditions. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go. Oh. The rub, the wick, and then the roll in to sit top four. They could have used even a little bit more ice. We definitely are seeing a spot on the left-hand side where it curls hard away from center and a straighter outside in. Den der vil altid gå der nede i. The double is very tough. That's why uh, Heather's having a look at the angles. Because of the stones on the left-hand side behind the T-line, it's a little harder for Helena to look at ways of getting rid of these. She's got lots of rocks in play, though, Linda. So if she hits that on the nose, she may catch the back of one of the yellow ones, but get, still get rid of it. So she's got no alternative but to play the double, of course. Okay. It can be jammed, so you have to be careful, but you're up two. Okay, then there's a Yeah. Where can we sell it? we come here? They've definitely tightened the ice from Helena's first attempt in this area of the ice. Just about on the nose. Right on the nose is right, Lou. Helena Black and her final stone. Nina. If you're wondering Nina. why Ray hasn't Wee. been using his Wee. magic pen, the Wee. telestrator, we've had some technical Wee. problems, so Wee. that's why Come we Wee. haven't seen the Zorro <laughs> act. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, very nice there you go. to get yourself out of trouble. Lovely shot. She took some time lining it up, making sure they knew exactly where they wanted to hit it to, as Ray said, just get it by the back of that yellow stone. That shot deserves a high five. Some of them don't. <laughs> Perfect shot. Great shot. To lie three. And so Canada forced to try and take one here in eight. Different spot in the ice. That is Kathy's problem. This is normally her forte, a draw to the forefoot. But they've been second guessing these spots. Boy, this looks absolutely going to race through the house. Not even catch any of the rings. One, two, three, maybe four. Three for sure for Denmark. You threw the same way as you came this way. This way it was faster. Three for sure. Faster. You can take these three away. Run here. Just three. Right now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just no. No, I wasn't sure because I know it's frosty coming this way, and you threw the same kick as you came this way, hmm. and it just whooshed through. Four. Four. It is four. A <laughs> steal of four for Denmark here in the eighth. Four. Yeah. Nine to three. Denmark now leading Canada as they appear to be on their way to just their third loss in opening round play of a Women's World Championship. Yes, it's boredom twitch syndrome. You're lucky. There's a new treatment. Got boredom twitch syndrome? Get relief with Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. 
Over 90 channels of sports, movies, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. Uh-oh. Over here. Wee! Wow. Your ex double roll has twice as many pillowy soft sheets. So you won't get caught with your pants down. Double roll. Pillowy softness that lasts twice as long. When AT&T Canada started this dime time thing, I said to myself, Dime boy, you got to be a part of this. Call oh, anyone in Canada any evening, any weekend for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, okay? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. Another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia, we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant. Bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. Welcome back to Kamloops, the Thompson River, right beside the Riverside Coliseum. As we quickly peek in at the game between Japan and Germany. And this is the final stone for the Japanese skip Mayumi Okutsu in a 2-2 tie with Germany. Yep, the yep, team from yeah, Garmisch yep, Parton here yep, does have Germany. the hammer. She's found the hole, gets the rub, and now will she stop in time? Wow, look at that. What a break. The rub actually stops the stone, takes the speed off it, and now it stops, shot stone, and behind cover. Interesting enough, though, they weren't brushing that, and, and, and if they get it through the hole, they come back to the face of the one in the back of the forefoot, and they would have been shot rock, and at no time during that, that end were they brushing it. I mean, I thought for sure it was through the hole because they weren't laying a brush on it. I agree. It must have really taken off. Yeah. That's all I can assume. I mean, she got a nice little roll over and behind, and Andrew now has to make a very difficult shot, but they never laid a brush on it, so I thought it was through the hole. They may have picked something, because it was went sideways, I think, with that. This Japanese, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. She would have come, had she got through the hole, just for her, she would have come to the face of the stone uh, sitting at the back of the forefoot. And uh... our statistician, uh, Supi Campbell, points out that these two teams met in the first round last year in Bern, Switzerland, and Japan won 7 6. Okutsu, a winner over Andrea Schopp. And Mayumi and the Japanese team, of course, made it to the semifinals last year in Bern, and that was the best ever finish to that point for a Japanese team. Of course, Akiko III has now won, or won a medal at the World Juniors, coming second last weekend. Andrea's taking a long time with this shot. Not sure what it is that she's deciding between as far as options. Looks like that rock is pretty well buried. Yeah, it sure does, Linda. She took a long time to play the shot just before that, but she decided to run off her front stone, and you know, I think she, you know, arrived at the right uh, decision to run it off. Unfortunately, she hit it on the nose. That's the yellow shot you see sitting close to the center line out in front, and she was trying to get that uh, get that center line uh, opened up, and it uh, just didn't work out for her. But uh, the way she's looking at it, it's like she's looking at either running it back or trying to pick that out rather than just drawing. It's hard to tell. 
Andrea Schopp, her longtime third, Monica Wagner, lo no longer with the team. Natalie Nessler is the third for the 33 year old Skip Schopp. In her ninth appearance at a world championship, was a world champion in 1988. She's also won two silvers and a bronze, but coming off a disappointing performance at Nagano, where she was one and six. She's playing, looked like she's decided to play the intern draw, uh, the same shot that. Uh, Pam was playing that uh, rubbed on the front. They have lots of time left in this game. If you're wondering about Andrea taking a little extra time here, but then there were five blank ends in this game. You'll see them behind Andrea there, all those zeros. They're still talking about it. Well, they know the path down here because Mayumi. Uh, you know, all the way down, looked like she had a great shot and, and, and just did, and either pick something or just went sideways for some unknown reason. Ticked the front and rolled to where it is now at the back of the forefoot. But uh, I think they should have a good idea of the ice for this intern draw. Now, Ray, it does look like if she came to that yellow one, mm. Germany might be shot over the red one. It's yeah. hard to tell from the angles, but it looks like that would be the case. They looked at that. I think you're right. I think they talked about that and she said you could. You know, we, can't, we don't have a microphone on, we can't hear what she said, but it looks very much like if she comes to the face of the yellow one at the back of the forefoot at the four o'clock position, she'd be shot rock. She's still not sure, so one more bit of chat between Shop and Natalie Nessler. Now they're going to look at the run back. That's surprised. I'm surprised they would, when it comes to drawing, they wouldn't go with the other turn, though. I mean, well, it's hard for us to comment on it, really, Victor, because we don't know. We haven't been on that sheet of ice, so we don't know how much that out turn would, would curl. Uh, she, she seems very hesitant to play the draw, Linda, don't you think? I mean, very much She's so. gone back to talking about maybe running the stone, the front rock back. Here. No, the broom could be for either the draw or the run back, so we're a little bit stumped. With the run back, she would only have to catch a piece of the red one, with the other yellow one being in the house. That could be the winning point. Andrea Schopp. Do you think this is the draw, Linda? I have no idea, actually. We'll no, we'll, we'll <laughs> I'm see. waiting for her to drive we'll out soon, of the hat. Yeah, we'll see it soon, no. Yeah. She's just playing quiet weight. Just the draw. Nestler calling off Heike. Weilander and Jane Volk Cope to get by that front one. That's what they're waiting for. Then will it stop on the back one? It has to sit in time, and it does. So she plays up to the back one for her single. And the win. Germany will win it 3-2 to two over Japan. Andrea Schopp, after thinking long and hard, makes the shot for the win. 3-2 the final. Germany a winner in their opener. Now we go from one side of the Riverside Coliseum to the other for Sweden and Switzerland as they play in the ninth. 4-3, Sweden leading Switzerland and Sweden playing the Red Stones does have the hammer. Elizabeth is trying to raise one of her front ones up into the forefoot. Looks like she's trying to tap it onto the yellow one at the back of the four. Hard to tell, Vic. Oh, it's the yellow stone is shot. Quick look by the Swedish third, Katharina Nyberg. Are they going to measure or are they going to... The Swiss third thinks it's theirs, yellow. Yep. And they're going to call for the measure as the broom goes down. 
We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll tell you which way it goes, Switzerland or Sweden's way, here in Athens. In the news, excitement is growing over the new brake technology announced by Midas. When tested on yellow cabs in San Francisco, these new carbon metallic brake pads lasted 29% longer than ordinary brake pads. Cab owners are delighted. Since they'll be spending less on brake repairs, they can now afford to spruce up their fleets. New performance friction carbon metallic brake pads, now at Midas. Next. Another case of boredom twitch syndrome. Nothing relieves boredom twitch syndrome like Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of movies, sports, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. <laughs> Honey, our favorite movie! Oh, thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. The measurement taking place on sheet A. Switzerland thought it was a steal of one. So it is one for Sweden and a 5-3 lead. Boy, a good call by the Swedish third, Nyberg, because indication from Selina Brulu, the Swiss, Swiss third was, hey, it's ours. Let's just kick him away. But uh, Nyberg said, no, 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 let's measure. And so Sweden picks up one in a 5-3 lead. And Vic, you can say it. No. Nope. We thought it was yellow and you were right. The Grand Prix of Long Beach, tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We are on TSN. With our featured game, Denmark and Canada out of reach. Canada trailing 9-3. We're going to hop around the Riverside Coliseum as we complete coverage in this opening draw of women's play to USA and Scotland. The United States. Team from Bemidji, Minnesota, scored two in the eighth. And it's Scotland and Kirsty Hay leading 6-5 as they play in the ninth. And this will be the final stone for the U.S. skip. Kerry Ericks, who's appeared in three World Junior Championships for the Americans. A moment ago, Scotland had a chance to sit a couple, and things haven't worked out. Chance to ride three here, I think, Linda. So Scotland goes from a chance to get two, and now has to play against those three red stones. thing when you're a skip and you're throwing your last draw this one has to be just full eight foot you want to make sure if there is any frost creeping in late in the game that you know exactly where you're throwing so you saw Kirsty adjust the broom that's not just a slight adjustment that's making sure you're in the very keen path in the center of the ice and not fooling with that frost yeah a good point Linda she, and she said you know less ice edge of the four it's just to draw I'm just drawing here I don't want to get caught in that frost line so good call by Kirsty, as we know, Victor, if you can't draw. You can't skip, and this 26-year-old, two-time world junior champion will hang it on the back edge of the forefoot for a single. Kirsty Hay out of the Early White Ladies Curling Club in Perth, Scotland, with a 7-5 lead over the United States. Three Sweden leading as they go to the tenth, and Switzerland has the hammer. 
And Sweden has made quite an aggressive call this end, and it was a good call and a good shot. A corner guard went up by Switzerland, and we've talked about the various ways to counter corner guards. With the four rock rule, there are difficulties defending, but Sweden went around the corner guard first. That's one of the options we do talk about, and they got pretty well buried. And it's over between Denmark and Canada, and the wheels really fell off for Kathy Borst as she gave up a steal of three in nine. So seven stolen points in the final two ends, and Borst and Canada lose their opener to Denmark. 12-3, the final. And Canada back on the ice tonight. At 10.30 Eastern time, Borst will play the Americans and Kerry Erickson. Well, it's really, a, you know, a, the score isn't any indication of that game. Obviously, if uh, Kathy makes her draw, she's one down and playing the ninth down, and it's a whole different game. But, uh, they hadn't played a lot of draws in that game. They uh, a lot of hits and not a lot of draws. So in the eighth end, when she had that draw to the to the forefoot, she just uh, gave a little extra drive, and it uh, slid right down the center, and it was a steal of four. So really, the game was over there. Impressive performance by Helena Black Larvison. Coming off a bronze medal last year in Bern, Switzerland at the Ford Worlds. Then a silver medal, of course, losing to Sandra Schmerler at the Nagano Olympics. And maybe people not giving her full credit for that silver medal. Somewhat surprised, but full value for her win today against the Canadian team that did not look sharp. Oh, I, I don't know, you know, Vic, I was there all, you know, all week during the curling in, in uh, Kabuzawa, and, and uh, she was very, very solid all week. She was and she was there in the final as well. I mean, it was a very good game, and, and, and uh, she was very deserving of the silver and, and gave Sandra all she could handle in the final game, and uh, uh, you know, she just got better. She's getting better and better and better all the time. Mommy! And I think, back to our original points, Vic said it's not easy to motivate yourself time after time. And I mentioned she had decided, made a decision to change her delivery, get a sports psychologist, and become a student of the game after all those years. So she's done the things that you need to do to be at the top of the game and showed it again here today. Yeah, they didn't do anything spectacular today, except they didn't make any mistakes. She made one small mistake, gave Kathy Borst a chance to play a chip for two, as I mentioned earlier. But after that, I mean, just nothing. And, and uh, Canada did not execute. Heather struggled a little bit on some of her shots, not getting them the right positions and not getting the rolls. And as a result, uh, you know, Kathy got down a few and she had to gamble a bit and then she missed the big draw. That happens. The Swedish second is Louise Marmont. And they're not even going to fool with those corners. Sweden not going to worry about uh, taking them off here. The Swiss skip is 35-year-old Christina Lestander, native of Bern, curls out of Zug. In her fifth appearance at the World Championships, her last was 1989. It's kind of interesting call. I, I'm not sure what she's doing. She's she indicated that she was going to play a play a raise on the yellow on the long yellow one. I. Uh, I'm not sure why she'd do that. It looks like there's room to come around it. You could corner freeze the red one if you're concerned about getting around it. We haven't seen this ice again. We don't know the amount of curl in these spots. Playing third stones. Here in this 10, 5-3, Sweden leading. She's definitely playing some kind of a raise. First choice in my book, but Sweden will just throw it through again. Yeah, they're, they're not concerned at all. But I mean, you had to come, as Linda mentioned, Vic, you had to come around an angle freeze and nothing else onto the face of the red stone, and then set yourself up in a position to force Elizabeth to make a shot. This way, they're just she's just firing this through the rings. A 
familiar faces, of course, to many that have watched the world curling over the years. The Sweden team looking for their third world title this year. Elizabeth comes to us this year with a little different look, Linda. A little different look in the hair department. In, in the hair department, yes. yeah. We don't really understand uh, Christina's decisions here. She can get to the back eight foot, it looks to me like, uh, by coming around the red one. And if she didn't want to, she could play up near the red one, which would make hers difficult to be removed. Yeah, she really wasted a shot, the last shot. Selena Brulu. Her twin sister Madalena throws the second stone. And the Swiss, one of those teams that rotates through its lead position. Sandra Arnold, listed on our sheet, says the alternate is uh, throwing the lead stone today. Kind of no rotation. Is it changing? I think it's actually changing turn, is it not? Yeah, it definitely didn't have the rotation needed in that frostier area wide side. Pretty good weight. She got it in there all right. <laughs> Elizabeth. Stander actually played in the 1983 Worlds as lead for Erica Mueller, and they won that year. And her last appearance was, in fact, 1989. That was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Elizabeth Gustafson. The redhead. The two-time world champion, 92 and 95, coming off a bronze medal at Nagano. We, of course, remember Elizabeth more of a blonde, but a new look for the Swedish skip. Trying to wick now, I think, Linda, just plan B. Whoa. And gets nothing. So you have to give the Swiss skip some credit for playing that wide outturn uh, draw and getting that rock in the back of that eight foot. and. Uh, just didn't seem like a logical call because it's such a guess for the thrower when it comes to the weight when you're on the frost line. But they got it in a great position. You can see Elizabeth uh, was nowhere close to making that. So now you wonder whether you you risk putting another one back in that position or or just splitting and going the other yeah, side. Yeah, split the rocks, split the house. get it in there any better she thinks she can just get it tucked around with a little bit uh, to the top of the eight foot and set up the possibility of scoring three and as you mentioned with the last stone of Selena Brulu her stone actually lost handle so mm -hmm. if you can keep the handle on it don't you expect a little more curl yeah you might be able to get it just biting the top of the eight foot, you can make a really good shot here but you do set up the possibility of leaving a double if you don't get it around a little bit Much. Yeah, but she was nowhere near that. Ah! 
couple of finals as you get yourself caught up on the scores here in this opening women's draw of these Ford World Curling Championships from Kamloops. Elizabeth will try the same shot again, the one she just tried uh, previously, and try and just tick it out of there. Elizabeth, who is married to Thomas Gustafson, three-time Olympic speed skating champion. He was a, a hero for Sweden at the Calgary Olympics in 88. He lived in Canada for a number of years, training at the Oval. They're really taking a lot of time to decide the shot. They, they, they just, the outturn is on that frost edge, and really they don't, how it's going to react the, the first couple kind of drifted out a bit and, uh... I think Elizabeth has decided to play the intern draw come around the middle of the eight foot hopefully uh, in behind her own red stone sitting there in the 12 foot half in behind that which would place the yellow stone behind it and very difficult for Switzerland to get remove it so score the two points they require. Elizabeth, who is a surgeon. Again, looks like it's sliding pretty well. A lot of weight. Well, yeah. stop for shot. Yeah, dug in. And so now, quiet tap back for two and a possible extra end facing Switzerland and Christina Lestander. Chance to tie this game up and force it to an extra end. In turn take out quietly, it looks like, with the amount of ice she's taking, holding the brute brush just outside the center line. In turn take out for two. Arnold and Brulu back off. No mistake. And she'll sit right there for two for Switzerland in the 10th. And we'll go to an extra end. Switzerland and Sweden in this opening women's game. Still two other games on the ice. We'll update those as well when we come back. You know, the real me is pretty basic. I'm even a little practical. Like a while back, I noticed I had some flakes. So naturally, I started using head and shoulders. It helps keep the flakes away. And if it leaves my hair looking like this, why mess with a good thing? What is it? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Feel like you're the only one who knows how to change the role? Try Royale Double Roll. 
two rolls in one. For less changes, double your Royale. I never thought when my son moved away that I wouldn't see him for three years. It's just a tractor for my grandson. But this trip I wasn't gonna miss. He's sleeping. This is for when he's older. My son had built his own life. Hey, Dad. He got a John Deere. Of course. But he still appreciates where he came from. Introducing the LT-133 from John Deere. Dollar for dollar, it's possibly the finest lawn tractor ever built. And it's the only one with a past as bright as its future. Now there's a tire that can survive even this. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Run Flat. Even with no air pressure, Goodyear Run Flat technology lets you drive up to 80 kilometers at 85 kilometers per hour to safety, so you won't get stuck with a flat. Now that proves a point, huh? Eagle F1 Run Flat. Don't try this at home, folks. Sorry. Goodyear, Goodyear. To save a young boy's life. A nine-year-old kid cracked the government's super code? Agent Art Jeffries is breaking all the rules. That kid is your responsibility. Whose responsibility is he? Bruce Willis. Get down! Mercury Rising. Now playing at theaters everywhere. She says she forgives you. But next time, she's calling Allied. Okay? Okay? Thank you, Canada, for making Allied the biggest and best in the country. You can do it. Just keep pedaling. I'm going to let go now. Look, you're skating. Remember the exhilaration of newfound freedom? So do we. The new restyled 1998 Mercury Mystique. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. What else is there? Welcome back as we go oh, to the game between the United win. States and yeah. Scotland playing the 10th. Scotland leading 7-5. And this will be the final stone for the American skip Kerry Erickson out of Bemidji, Minnesota. Kirsty Hay just made a nice shot with her last one. Actually, I've watched a little bit of that game out of the corner of my eye, Vic, and, and Kirsty yeah. Hay has made some phenomenal shots to keep them yeah. alive in this game. Yeah. The Americans have had a number of golden yeah. chances. Now, is she trying a thin double here, or she's, what's she trying? Yes, she's trying the thin double is all she's got, actually. She's got to get by, and she won't. She'll crash, and that's that stone there that's sitting back. <laughs> Back of the forefoot, which was the terrific stone thrown up by Hay as she wins it nine to five. Scotland, the winner in their opener over the United States. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Simonize is available exclusively at Canadian Tire. And Sweden and Switzerland is where we will go for an extra end in a 5-5 tie, Sweden will have the hammer. Interesting to note that on the scoreboard so far in the other four games, they've all been won by yellow stones. And so now Switzerland, if they're going to continue the trend, will have to try and steal it here in this extra. And they do have the yellow stone. They do. Some interesting games, though, in the uh, uh, Norwegian Finnish game. Uh, Dorty Nordby made it, had to make a double in the last end to uh, uh, prevent uh, having to throw her last rock against four, and she did so, and she won the game against Finland. Now she controlled the whole game, so it was never. Uh, but in the last end, all of a sudden, he looked up, and Finland was lying three and throwing. So good shot by Dorty. It ended that game, and the world champion, two-time world champion, it's off to a good start. I think one of the things that you know we talked about earlier, Vic, uh, Linda, you and I, and I really think it's true that the, the Olympics have really 
rejuvenated everyone. They're, they're, everybody's here with a real strong feeling about the game of curling, about their sport. And, and I think that when you get teams like you mentioned, they are back for the 15th time. We're using Helena Black uh, Laverson as an example. And that, uh, you know, the, the Olympics, having been at the Olympics and, and, and uh, you know, getting, you know, pumped up again for that and coming to the world. Everybody's here with a real different attitude. I you just sense it, you know, nothing's been said. But I just get a feel in talking to all the men's teams as well that they just really feel good about about their game and, and the, what's uh, happening in their individual countries. As a result, we should have a very interesting week. And we know that these teams can play. We know that Andrea Schopp is a, is a uh, world champion. We know that Dirty Nordby is a two-time world champion. We know all those things. And now they're here with uh, new energy and... and uh, this will make for a very interesting week. Very nice, the split played, and uh, yeah, the stone goes almost to the boards. No, one thing it does is in many countries, you know, curling had the respect, uh, and the respect has come now with its uh, acceptance as an Olympic sport, a full medal sport. That brings funding in many countries, and I think more importantly, it brings respect. And now it's on an equal uh, it's on a par with any other sure. winter sport. We were a little uh, casual about the fact that we saw a couple splits there. <laughs> it made perfectly. By swinging two well executed shots. You get the rocks off the center line. Elizabeth, of course, two time world champion. Louise Marmont, the Sweden, yeah. Swedish second. Hey, hey, hey. Keep that forefoot open. There's the peel. Madalena Brulu. Canada loses their opener 12-3 to Denmark and the steal of the four with Kathy Borst heavy on her final stone. That was the difference. Helena Black Laverson is a winner and a silver medalist. She's with Linda. Thanks, Vic and Helena. It looks like you've continued your winning form from the Olympics. You played a very good game. Yes, we did. We went off to a really good start. Yep. I've known you for a long time, and you always play well against Canada. You've always played well against me. Is it a nice start to play Canada and know you have to play well to get going? It's a, uh, yeah, it, that could be some of the reason you, you know you have to play very well to beat Canada always, so that could be some of it. But all the teams here now are so strong, you have to play good in every game to win, so it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> you mentioned to me you like the ice a little better. You picked it up very well because it had changed from yesterday. Yes, it definitely has. Not so much swing. Now you've just come off a wonderful week. Denmark has a silver medal from the Olympics. But does that put extra pressure on you now coming to the World Championships? No, I don't, I don't feel it like that. And we don't feel it like that, no. We feel that uh, if we can make a good result here, maybe curling will be more popular in Denmark. And that's what we're going for. Well, have a great week. Thanks very much. Thank you. Vic? You didn't bring up the fact, Linda, that in 1985 you uh, beat her 7-6 in round robin. Didn't want to rub it in, huh? <laughs> How do you actually work that into the conversation, Vic? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so, hey, yeah, remember 85? So, I thumped yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would think of that. <laughs> really nice to see you again. 5-5, <laughs> yeah. Sweden, Switzerland, as we play in an extra, and Sweden has the hammer. And doing an excellent job of keeping the four-foot area, the front of the house open. Another uh, front guard called for. You just need that one nose hit, Vic. Something to get behind. 
Try and steal a point. It's, you know, you can try and put it on another side or change the position of it when the team's, your opposition has had so much luck in peeling them off with that, in, in this case, the, the, the outturn uh, peeling shot. You can try and move it to the other side or move it over across the center line as opposed to being on the center. Just trying to make the shot a little different, make the peel a little different. Katharina Nyberg, excuse we, me. Sorry, we have seen some teams go in behind that corner guard, uh, even though it's in the 12 foot. And, Open the least with their last shot. We'll get a chance to lie two. There's the peel again. So, Ray, I was down at ice level, but it looked like Sweden was giving us a little clinic in opening up the front. Yeah, well, they, they just played a perfect end. The perfect tick, which we very casually <laughs> covered. Oh, yeah, there's another tick. <laughs> Helena seems very, uh, very much in control. And, uh, you, know, you asked her about the pressure. None, certainly, that she's putting on herself. And just looking at it as the sport as a whole. Yeah, she's got a great attitude. And as I say, I've known her a long time, as has Ray. And uh, she seems so relaxed now. And they really are focused on their goal. And they don't let those extra pressures seem to get to them. So that's terrific. Well, I think all the European teams in particular, and Japan too, uh, here are just so excited about the game of curling that it's it's just carrying over into their you know they, they, we know that they control it we know that they know uh, they mechanically are you know are solid and the teams that get here you know they don't have a lot of numbers in their countries but we know that they know how to throw the rock and it's just a matter of, of the, in some cases maybe you know skipping errors and things of that nature but more importantly I think in lots of cases they've been intimidated by some of the stronger teams teams that uh, well like the sandwich murders and things but Know, with the with the excitement in their own countries and that enthusiasm it's just carried over it's going to be a very interesting week because everybody out here obviously has shown us they can beat everybody else and kathy borsch lost uh, her what game in the 12 to, uh, the three score is not an indication of the game we, we saw the missed draw in eight but uh, you know kathy's going to beat lots of teams here she, Elizabeth has played a pretty good game, but I've seen her miss a few in this game, too. And this opening draw, everybody's getting the feel a little bit. And Sweden will like it if they come out of this, of course, with the win. But they'll also like it if they pick up their play a little bit during the course of the week. Everything else is a final. I talked to Doherty and, and Hannah this morning of the Norwegians team and they they're really a Doherty seems to Doherty Nordby of course seems to have a little bit of that old fire back in her after her trip to the Olympics and she'll be tough this week she's always tough she likes to she likes lots of rocks in place she likes the spectacular shot she can make a lot of them <laughs> she can now you were in Japan how did she play they, they were disappointed. They uh, they, they they played uh, they yeah, alternated yeah. their fifth player a lot, and they didn't. Uh, they had a little bit of the trouble at the third position. And Doherty and Doherty does play a pretty wild game sometimes. So when you do that, uh, you, you really need support from your team members. They didn't curl as well as they can curl, and uh, as a result, they the record just uh, showed it. You know. Looks like that won't make the no. house. And so now it's uh, anywhere in the house for the win. Elizabeth do the same thing that Kirsty Hay did, make sure she doesn't get anywhere near that frost line and stay within that four foot slide path area. And then the stone will uh, be controlled by the brushers. Just to hit the rings. There's 
a Elizabeth focus. Gustafson. Yeah, there's a focus of a world champion. Elizabeth has uh, shown us over the years she really can make the tough shots. Everybody's just backed off. Goodness gracious. By the focus, out of focus. And isn't that something? We mentioned that Yellow Stones had won all the games so far, and Switzerland throwing the Yellow Stones comes through with a blank. And we're going to go one more. Focus. If you care, Simonize it. Get professional results at home with Simonize High Gloss Car Wax. The protection of Teflon in one easy step. Durable paint protection and a lasting shine. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonize Gel Protectant, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonize family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. If you care, Simonize it. The Molson Canadian Championship Racing Series is ready to roll. Live from California, the Grand Prix of Long Beach. Someday, see it, live it on TSN. This sports break is brought to you by Midas for new longer lasting carbon metallic brake pads. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to the TSN Newsroom. I'm Brendan Connor. Detroit Red Wings in search of three straight wins as they take on the Blackhawks in some matinee action in the NHL this afternoon. And we'll pick this one up on the highlight Boy, reel with wide. three minutes in. Martin Lapointe firing a bullet from the right side. Top see corner, you see that water bottle move. You know it's in. one nothing wing. Second period, things get a little rough. Darren McCarty gets uh, taken headfirst into the boards by Eric Weinrich. McCarty has not returned. That sparks the Hawks, though. Kevin Miller moves in and beats Chris Osgood. We're tied at one. But the Wings answer back. Steve Iserman to Dmitry Mironov. He shoots and scores. And it's 2-1 for the Red Wings right now. And uh, Avalanche captain Joe Sackick is back in the lineup after missing 18 games with a knee injury. He has scored, but the Avalanche trail 2-1 to the Blues after two. Back to curling after this. Our lumber and building material areas are second to none. There's everything in there. We've got roofing, we've got rebar, we've got... Two by fours, we sell plywood, we sell... Everything having to do with cement. You're going to see insulation as well, you're going to see... Drywall, we sell. Mass quantities or small quantities, we can do it for them. I could go on and on and on and on about what we've got down there. Definitely you can build a whole house here at Home Depot all under one roof. Cheaper than you've ever thought you could. You're going to see ladders? <laughs> I'm not finished yet. This week on TSN Sunday, the story of Zdenek Matajowski, a very specialized sports reporter. He's based in Montreal and reports to the Czech Republic on national heroes passing through his town. TSN Sunday, 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. Monday night, look back at the Super Bowl, Foreman versus Morrison. Then Lennox Lewis defends his WBC belt against Shannon Briggs. Super Bowls and Lewis versus Briggs. See it, live it, Monday on TSN.
reminder, we're back with you at 10.30 Eastern Time. Kathy Borsch tries to rebound from the loss against Denmark. She goes against the United States and Carrie Erickson from Bemidji, Minnesota. And she lost her opener as well, 9-5 to Scotland. So we go to a second extra end. Sweet. Missing the opportunity. Hit the rings, you win. She throws it through. And, you know, then Switzerland, of course, coming up light with her final draw. Yeah. And it's a 5-5 tie. The last 12 uh, end game was just last year in Bern, where Norway beat Denmark. Nordy Nordby with a steal of one over Helena Black Lavrosen. Well, interesting enough, as you mentioned, Vic, if Switzerland gets that stone just to nibble the 12 foot, uh, uh, Elizabeth Gustafsson's going to play exactly the same shot because it's going to be the uh, rocks and big coverage. She's going to play an intern draw. And if she sails it through, she loses. In this end, we've seen the perfect tick once again, getting the rock off the center line. Then, unfortunately, Linda, the uh, Swiss lead slipped her next rock into the rings. So from that point on, we've seen some exchange in the appeals. One thing we can learn from that last end, remember that the Swiss skip Christina Lastander was drawing away from center, and then Elizabeth Gustafson was drawing to center down the Keener path. And I really think that uh, if this continues, what we've seen so far today, they're going to have to be very careful, the teams here this week, about the edge of the frost, about the amount of curl from the outside in, and as well, the different weights and the different spots of the ice. And if you use a stopwatch, that means that you continue to use it through the game and in different spots of the ice just to see trends, not necessarily to try and adjust your thinking for your weight, just to see, is it heavier out here and keener down here? Because I think Elizabeth got caught in the very same situation that Kathy Borst did at the end. She gave up the steal of four. She played one way where it was heavier and her last draw was down the king path and it slid through. For those of you tuning in to see the Yukon Jack Arm Wrestling Championships from Detroit, Michigan. It's coming up immediately following our coverage of this extra, extra end. Sweden, Switzerland. Women's first draw Ford World Curling Championships. Well, once again, an attempt to get something on the center line out in front by Switzerland to try and get themselves in a position to steal. Little did she know if she just had bitten the top 12 foot <laughs> with her last rock in the uh, 11th end. You never know, do you? The Swiss third, Selena Brulou. Trying to draw it a little closer to the redstone so that maybe she can get a jam of some nature. Elizabeth attempts to feel it. She's going to have to be careful not to jam it across onto the red rock that sits in the, uh, she's peeling from the outside in, that sits in the uh, 12 foot at the 3 o'clock position. So. Those peels where you have to be a little bit cautious. No problem. They throw that up weight quite well, Katarina, throwing that hit with good rotation, peeling it up. Sweden with last rock has the two in the house. The most important thing is at the moment the forefoot is open for them.
Well, once again, uh, we see Elizabeth lying it up. A little caution in peeling this, Linda. You just can't, you gotta be careful not to jam it across. You certainly don't want to hit it on the nose. The peel is certainly the major issue. A, a jam would mean the rock is probably missed in the eight foot, and it's not as big a deal, but obviously she'd like to avoid it. Katharina yeah. oh, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Nyberg. Two lovely shots. Maybe a little discussion about going in now with the intern. When we were discussing the tenth end, this is approximately the positioning of stones as far as the line, where we were saying she could draw in with the intern behind those stones and get at least a corner covered. And even if you brought it deep and there was a mistake, you could try and come in front of it again. Looks like she's playing the intern draw. Elizabeth having a look to prepare herself for her last shot. And of course, thinking about that elusive at the moment, draw weight. Christina Leshtander. Looks like they're trying to play it just short with this in turn. chance to go for a steal here. Have to worry a little bit about changing ice conditions with all the other games now, finals and off the ice. Now she'll try and tuck behind those two stones, the yellow and the red, sitting in. one just outside the 12 and one in the 12 foot. And unlike that uh, 10, when she got her deuce and she came with the other turn to catch the eight foot, you can't do that this time? <laughs> They're over too far, are they? <laughs> if you can, then I, <laughs> I'm quitting. My only concern would be that uh, I would have played this on my first one, I think, because the ice is just so difficult today. It's hard to know exactly where to put the broom for this to get as much covered as you can. But that's what she's trying to do. Got to get it to move now. She looks like she's close to the weight, and it's just it's got to really come across for her to try and get it buried. Sit in the open. And she had the brush down on the edge of the four. So a nice situation here. Sweden doesn't have to stay. Just get rid of that Swiss stone.
Elizabeth Gustafson from the Umea Curling Club. In a 5-5 tie, looking to win her first here at these Board Worlds. Doesn't have to hold a shooter. She'll still get a pair and win it 7-5. is a first draw winner over Switzerland. So the two-time world champ, Gustafsson, off to a good start. Les Stander loses her first in her first appearance since 1989. Coming up tonight at 10.30, Kathy Borst tries to rebound after losing to Denmark, goes against Kerry Erickson. We'll also have highlights for you of Wayne Madaw's first game against Sweden. So till then, on behalf of Linda Ray and our entire crew, I'm Vic Roder. Thanks for joining us. Stay with us now for the Yukon Jack World Arm Wrestling Championships next on TSN. Welcome back to the Battle of the Biceps at the Arena.